God, the honorable members. May we all rise. Yes, and uh, wait for the national anthem, please. Um, honorable Premier, honorable members, esteemed guests, um, young people, the future of this province, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to greet you all this morning. Uh, it is my pleasure to welcome you to this August House for the Youth Parliament. I am Mandla Gazikeleku, the program director for this first segment of this event. On behalf of the Eastern Cape Legislature, we extend our appreciation for your presence today. And it is without a doubt that this is going to be a fruitful session because it is full of young, beautiful minds. But before we commence, I have a few announcements. The guests are required to remain in their seats for the duration of the house, and where there is a need to move out, this must be done with no disturbance. Cell phones must be switched off or put on silent, not vibrate, for the duration of the house. We plead with guests to refrain from using a camera flash when taking videos or pictures inside the chamber. 
lavatories for guests in the gallery, the committee and the officials are situated outside on my left opposite the Nonin Ziluzipo room or the ANC caucus, as well as on my right hand side opposite the fish bowl, the room with glass doors. There are additional lavatories in the passage with committee rooms on my far right hand side. Protocol staff are also on standby to assist the guests. At the end of the house, guests are requested to remain silent and standing until the process of the speaker has left the chamber and until protocol and security staff indicate that the doors are open. Um, without um, further ado, let us now call upon the deputy chairperson of committees to do the official opening and to outline the purpose of this event. Uh, let's please welcome Honorable Makubela. Thank you, uh, Program Director. Allow me to acknowledge uh, the following. Honorable Premier and the Executive Council of the province. Honorable Speaker, Honorable Deputy Speaker, Honorable Chair of Chairs, Chief Whip and Deputy Chief Whip of the Legislature, leaders of parties represented at the legislature, acting chief whip of the provincial opposition, members of the legislature, traditional leaders, troikas from metropolitan, district and local municipalities, HODs, heads of chapter nine institutions and other organs of state, participants, moral regeneration movement, South African Youth Council, youth formations, business sector, non-governmental organizations, secretariat of the legislature, Eastern Cape Provincial Organized Labor, esteemed guests, staff of the legislature, executive council and municipality. I greet you all this morning. The Eastern Cape Provincial Legislature adopted a vision that of being a people's assembly for good governance and improvement of the quality of life for all. Through this vision, it strives to create a transformed, democratic and open society that improves the quality of life for the young people of the Eastern Cape and show meaningful and active public participation that educates and informs people and provide access to the legislature. Paku Freedom Charter ke itetu kuti se ay pila into eti bukhulumende wa bantu nga bantu bantu in terms of section 118 of the constitution, the Eastern Cape Provincial Legislature has an obligation to facilitate and promote public participation and public education in all legislative and other processes. Would rule 18.21 of the standing rules of procedure of the legislature enables the institution to recognize and acknowledge all sectors of the communities of province by hosting sectoral parliaments on a rot rot rotational basis by every financial year. Uh, because QIA plus communities. Besila Panabo, Diambona, Omnia Bekona, from Nelson Mandela, Metro, yes, and Jemba Ekona again. So as it is, 
CI practice are practical. During uh, the period 2016 and 2019, now Kumbula, the Eastern Cape Provincial Legislature hosted youth uh, parliaments that each had specific thematic areas. Those were hosted also in commemoration the Youth Month, which is seen as a time for reflection on youth development, including any progress made. That's why it's no premier. Uh, where progress, SSCN, Zilla, Weather Resolutions, the 2016 and 2019. Neza Choni Kwazuguz Fuman. It is also critical for the legislature to assess progress made in implementing resolution taken in the previous two sectoral parliaments. It is against this break background that the legislature took a conscious decision to host physical youth parliament today, 25th August 2023, at this uh, Raymond Mslaba chamber of the legislature. They don't know that uh, this chamber is uh, the first premier Yalape Eastern Cape, our late Utata or Raymond Mslaba. The objectives and purpose is to provide a comprehensive account on the implementation of the provincial youth policy and previous sectoral youth parliaments, to promote public education and provide a platform for participation in legislative processes, to promote and provide an opportunity for the interaction of youth sector with elected public representatives to provide a platform and promote dialogue between representatives of the youth sector and members of the Executive Council on issues affecting their livelihood. Highlight the legislature's commitment to use its oversight, public participation, and lawmaking rules to change the socio-economic conditions of young people in the Eastern Cape. To set the youth agenda for the Eastern Cape 7th administration through the resolution that will be taken during the youth parliament. We are the sixth administration. Next year, see uh, provincial and national general elections. Kuzabe uh, Kungena is seventh administration. Kubaduleki le Kintobana Kabengena, Bafike be born into Okbana, Ibe Kuchwa up. Registration IEC, as well as the new voters, Zenu as Rilucha, Ziaya, we are vote. The theme. Uh, the theme for 2023 Provincial Youth Parliament is encouraging a socially involved youth to promote active citizenry, entrepreneurship, and inclusive economic development. The thematic areas under which debate will be taken are, there are no changes, with district youth workshops as Beninas. A partnership for efficient and relevant programs for youth social economic empowerment and development and leveraging on digital revolution. Two, youth participation in land reform and the agricultural revolution. Three, social problems facing the youth and innovative solution. In conclusion, we wish the best of luck to the participants as they debate the thematic areas. We implore you to listen closely to all the speakers and as the theme is being unpacked by the guest speaker. As we move, clo 
as we move closer to the election for national and provincial legislat legislative uh, as assemblies, we wish to appeal to the youth of this province to take seriously their right to universal adult suffrage and exercise this right in the upcoming elections. elections. The Department of Home Affairs has advised that a number of our youth who fall within the first term voters group have not yet collected their identity documentation. We therefore invited them to this session and they have set up an information um, desk to assist the participants with ID applications and collections in preparation for voter registration. The Independent Electoral Commission, that is IEC, is also around and has set up an information desk regarding voter registration including online voter registration. Ibaluleki lekele information in is akuifumana the representatives as the Soka district from IEC. Ukwenze lindobana klani buyela back to your district. You assist youth pa enge kafumani ITs equals no registration. Uh, go online. With those few words, I welcome you all and declare the 2023 Eastern Cape Provincial Youth Parliament open. I thank you, Program Director. Thank you so much, Honorable Makubela. Kutuake namkele kile kululekan. I will now call upon Ms. Sianda Vuso, uh, the treasurer of SAIC in the Eastern Cape, to do the, to do the formal introduction of our speaker for the day. Greetings, Honorable Speaker, Honorable uh, Premier of the Eastern Cape, Dr. Oscar Mabian. Greetings to the Honorable Members as well. Sent by the Provincial Treasurer of Psych is Ms. Kamisa Tengile to introduce our guest speaker, uh, the one and only Dr. Anthony Tolika Sibia. His brief profile reads, Tolika Sibia is currently a researcher and lecturer at the University of Witwatersrand and based at the Center for Researching, Education and Labor. He is an associate lecturer at the African University of Central Asia, teaching and a, visitor, and a visiting scholar at Central European University in Budapest as part of the Open Society University Network, OSUN that is. Tolika is a former sociology lecturer in the Faculty of Arts at Nelson Mandela University. He is a member of the Research and Evaluation Committee at the Department of Planning, Monitoring and Evaluation tasked to look at implementation, evaluation of youth and employment creation programs. He is also part of the National Economic Development and Labor Council, that is NEDLEC, Social Compact for Social Cohesion and National Building Task Team. He has attended and presented academic papers at various international conferences, which amongst others include USA, UK, Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia, Italy, Hungary, Ethiopia, and Turkey, just to mention a few. Tolika holds a PhD 
in education from Wits University where his research was looking at the relationship between skills and inclusive industrial growth and transformation in the automotive manufacturing sector in South Africa. His community engagement and leadership roles are these um, honorable members. He is the General, General Secretary, the Chief Administrative Officer of the South African Youth Council. He is a research steering committee member in the Department of Planning, Monitoring and Evaluation. He is a former NYDA Build Review Task Team member, tasked to refine and finalize the NYDA Bill based on public comments and inputs. He was appointed by Mail and Guardian as top 200 young South Africans in 2019 in the education and training category. He is a former head of research and policy of the South African Youth Council. He is a former chairperson of the South African Youth Council National Disciplinary Committee. He has participated in NEDLEC programs which are work stream on inclusive growth, redistribution and transformation on behalf of the youth sector in the community constituency preparing for presidential job summit in 2018. He participated as well in NEDLEC's support for emerging enterprises and black businesses through procurement enterprise and, supply, and supplier development working committee. He is a former energy and water sector education and training authority national working group member that was responsible to design and formulate qualification development on concentrated solar power plant process controller that is for renewable energy programs in 2015-2016 period. He served as the SRC at NMU as deputy president and also formed part of various institutional forums and committees. Lastly, honorable members, he has written a number of opinion pieces which you would find in www.newscities, www.dailymaverick, www.timeslive, www.news24. That is our guest speaker, Dr. Tolika Sibia Anthony. Goskakum. Hey, thank you so much, Ms. Mavuso. Uh, honorable Premier and, and, and members, as this generation in an agenda of making education fashionable. O Dr. Sibiya is really a true reflection of that. Mandi uh, Kwamkele, Dr. Sibiya, to unpack uh, the theme of the day. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Program Director, am I audible? Uh, thank you so much, uh, Program Director, the Honorable Speaker of the Legislature, the Premier of the Province, uh, Oscar Lubabalo Pilangenjongo Mabuyane Soweto, uh, the Deputy Speaker of the, of the Legislature, MECs of various departments in the province, the SODs, uh, DGs, and SGs, uh, together with the CEOs of our various entities in the province of the Eastern Cape, the traditional leadership in the province of the Eastern Cape, various uh, municipality uh, government officials, mayors, and chief whips, and uh, SPU officials in our district and local municipalities. The chair of chairs and deputy chair of chairs as uh, mentioned, the various political parties represented here in this assembly. The leadership of the South African Youth Council in the province of the Eastern Cape. Uh, young people of the province in the Eastern Cape who are representing various formations organized under the umbrella of the South African Youth Council in the province who are in attendance. And together those that uh, are also organized youth formations who are yet to be affiliated to the South African Youth Council, to which I would encourage all to affiliate to this giant organization, the Youth Council. 
but most importantly, the young people of the Eastern Cape who are here. Well, I'm truly honored to be invited and address this important occasion, marking the significant contribution and milestone of the young people of South Africa in achieving our democracy. It's a real privilege uh, to stand uh, before you this morning to reflect on the journey that young people of South Africa have traversed and honored the gallant fighters, the martyrs of 1976, who, whose bravery and sacrifice and courage uh, was influential in determining the total emancipation of our people. The 1976 martyrs, the, the gallant fighters of our freedom, demonstrated for all and sundry that unity amongst the ranks of young people is important to achieve the total emancipation. What makes this event even more symbolic is the fact that it is convened during the Women's Month. Uh, we equally need to pay tribute and salute the women of South Africa for their role and their efforts in fighting for the horrendous injustices and heinous crimes of apartheid. Their efforts indeed were not lost in vain as we are seated here enjoying the fruits of democracy. Notwithstanding the challenges that uh, confront society and the province of the Eastern Cape, the hardship and deprivation, the women of South Africa of different ages and generations continue to face with a number of challenges, uh, yet they continue to be strong, befitting uh, the term itself in Bogoto, uh, in Zimbabwe's Gobi Zogwenen. Uh, women and youth of South Africa, of course, uh, even here in the province, are a true definition of what I call hope and resilience. That despite the great progress achieved post-1994 program director, which is important for everyone to acknowledge that we have made tremendous progress post-1994, the Eastern Cape province remains uh, confronted with legacy challenges. Amongst others is poverty, inequality, and unemployment, which to some limited uh, extent appear complex to resolve. Related to these challenges that the province is confronted with, both uh, 2022 and the 2023 state of the province address, the Honorable Premier reflected and reported that in the province of the Eastern Cape, 13% of households are living in poverty. This means that they are unable to afford basic necessities to survive. I would urge you here to this gathering that you would find that in this 13% that is living in poverty, it's either singly women-headed households, if not children-headed households. Although the government entities report such as EXEC reveal that uh, in terms of unemployment, uh, we have declined as the province by 2.1%, uh, which we're standing now at 40%. There is convergence, convergence in the literature and other government reports more broadly at the national level that despite this decline, this province remains uh, the highest in terms of unemployment, uh, hovering above 32.7% uh, at the national level. And the state of the province address, the Premier also reported that 56.6% of economic inactive individuals in the province have not completed school. And more broadly, there is a problem of what Guy Standing calls precarious work. In other words, within the challenge of unemployment, uh, most of people, though employed, they are either employed in short-term contract or uh, in contracts uh, with temporal work opportunities, with no benefits or long-term security, with very few, not only in the province, but national as well, who are permanently employed. I think related to these social economic challenges facing the province of the Eastern Cape, the SOPA, together with the PGDP, the Provincial Government uh, Development Plan, which I want to believe we all know it by heart now, 
acknowledge those challenges and point us that there is a need for pronged interventions. Thus, the Eastern Cape Legislature themed this uh, gathering under the following theme, encouraging a socially engaged youth to promote active citizenry entrepreneurship as well as inclusive growth and development. I want to believe, Program Director, that as part of uh, promoting this uh, entrepreneurship and businesses to, to young people, different service providers who brought these different young people from different districts, in terms of transport, in terms of catering, and many other benefits, such as bags, if there are any, were sought from either youth or women providers. If not, then we're not meaningful about providing access and opportunities to young people as part of responding and resolving uh, to these challenges. But what is key, any event organized under our name as young women and youth, service providers have got to be sourced from the very same sector. Uh, it, is, it is consistent, the theme, with the, with the overall vision of the sixth administration, as well as the profile government development plan. It is without a doubt that in, our, in the global scale, SMMEs, as well as entrepreneurship, are the driving force for economic growth and the creation of meaningful employment. In the OCD countries, SMMEs count about 6 to 70% of job creation. In China, which is the largest economy in the BRICS uh, countries, which were hosting as a country, SMMEs and entrepreneurship accounts to 60% uh, to the GDP and 79% in terms of job creation. However, in the context of the, in our context, uh, whether in the Eastern Cape or nationally, uh, many SMMEs and entrepreneurs are faced with many challenges and hurdles. Such amongst those is stiff competition from large firms and lack of technology, modern technologies, and local economic conditions, which are still barriers to startups as well as growing businesses. And key amongst the challenges that faces our SMMEs and entrepreneurs is funding, Honorable Premier. To meaningful support the SMMEs and entrepreneurship, the key five uh, proposals that I wish to sponsor the gathering, uh, which are important to focus on, amongst others, is providing a dynamic funding models that include grants, as well as low interest finance, financing schemes, creating an entrepreneurial ecosystem that is conducive for economic growth and enterprise growth, ensuring access to new technologies of the 21st century uh, uh, consistent with the trends in our, in, our, in, our, in our 21st century, such as a, a artificial intelligence, big data, virtual reality, blockchain, and cloud services, et cetera, and providing SMMEs and entrepreneurship with skills and training uh, in line with the, the modern world, and also providing market or access to market at a local, national, as well as international level. This includes the uh, Honorable Premier the province linking the Eastern Cape SMMEs and entrepreneurs with global markets through our partnership that we have at an international level. And of course, SMMEs requires uh, cash flows to remain strong and going. And therefore, government should pay SMMEs within 30 days of service having, having been rendered. If not, as a government, we are not only killing those SMMEs, we are also in, uh, uh, destroying their contribution in our economy, in which we have uh, reflected that it's very important. I therefore want to implore uh, the SMMEs and entrepreneurial division uh, in the OTP, if it exists, that it has to conduct M&E assessment of all beneficiaries of fiscal fund to establish how far they are in terms of employment creation, and beneficiaries themselves, they have to showcase the progress they have made after the support from the state. And this could be through quarterly newsletter reports uh, on the work that has been done since they have received the funding, 
and the contribution that the SMME is making in terms of employment in the province. I mean, in the state of the province address, the Premier make an example about a gentleman, I just forget his name, that he is an entrepreneur who has created 400 jobs and uh, is also busy with the establishing a, a petrol station. And that's an example that all SMMEs and entrepreneurs in the Eastern Cape, especially the 3.9 that have received this kind of fund, they need to showcase how far they are in terms of uh, employment creation. I want to make an example in this, in this context. There is, is it the Department of Agricultural Rural Development and uh, Reform in the province. There's a good uh, example that they are making in which I want the, even SMMEs and entrepreneurs to do the same. Is it DARTA? Uh, when they get uh, farmers, they get other tractors or cows, you name the support that the department gives to small farmers. There is a two to three minutes short video in social media where they themselves say, after receiving these cows from government, the tractor, and being supported in this way, I've managed to create this amount of jobs. We also need to understand the extent to which SMMEs and entrepreneurs have gone after receiving uh, support from government. And there is a need to scale up SMMEs and to become meaningful play players in the different sectors. Amongst others is ocean economy, agriculture, construction, and network industries. It is important for us to understand that for us to grow this economy, we need to increase participation of SMMEs. So, 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 so as to concentrate our economy and expand opportunity base. But more broadly, uh, Honorable Premier Program Director, to resolve these strategic, complex to some extent uh, challenges, we have to temper with the ownership and control patterns of our economy at a broader level. By all means necessary, uh, we have to make sure that the ownership patterns of our economy, whether in the province, is tempered with. Uh, and this brings me to the role of the state at a broader level, Honorable Premier, in directing the economic growth and development. The state has a responsibility, no one else, the state to set the pace, influence, and pace up the development in which it wants us to, to take. Ha Jun Cheng, one of the development economics, make, makes the point that state policies have to coordinate investments and build institutions to drive growth and development. I mean, uh, literature report to us that post-1994, although we've made progress, we seem to have regressed. Amongst those in the, is the declining manufacturing base that has declined over time from about 25% in the early 90s to about 32, 13.2%. Although manufacturing has declined over time, it remains important to drive uh, our economy. And the automotive sector in which the province uh, is, the, is the anchor sector is very important in our economy. What is strange for me, Honorable Premier, is that we have this sector which is so important with so money and investment that the state invests in the sector, but we don't own the sector. In other words, there is no car manufacturer that is locally owned, that is South African. Yet, we invest so much money and billions in the sector, and the sector contributes so much in our economy. But the contribution and the investment that our state makes to the sector is so huge in comparison to the benefits that we get out of this. So I would wish that, uh, Premier, we have to lead the debate that says the auto sector in South Africa has been existing for almost 104 years. They arrived here in the 1920s. We have to see how possible we have our own car manufacturer so that the investment we make in the sector, it benefits us directly. What is even strange is that although there's huge investment in the sector, we don't control and determine the new technologies that get to be introduced by the sector. Yet these technologies have negative consequences in terms of employment. So we need somehow to build, have our own uh, car manufacturers as an, as an example. 
So here I address the importance of uh, policy coherence and growth strategy, requisite capacity and skills necessary at the disposal of the state to drive the development vision. In other words, we need to professionalize the public service and have an ethical and capable and skilled workforce to address these strategic uh, uh, challenges besieging not only the province, but also South Africa at large. If you read chapter 13 of the, of the NDP, together with the, the new national framework towards professionalization of the public service, it says social and economic challenges that we are confronted with as a country are impossible to resolve without capable and developmental state. Therefore, for us to respond to these social economic challenges, there are certain decisions that we need to make. Amongst them, the state has to lead those dis, uh, decisions. We, sh we shouldn't be afraid. We are leading. We availed ourselves to lead. We have to lead. Thank you so much, uh, Program Director. I really thank you, colleagues, for listening and for your attention. Thank you so much, Dr. Sibia. Okay, input. Um, Honorable Premier, the Akumbula, there was an event. Esaskesa ya kuyowe kwa kukona umfana. Owa ye kala into yo kwenzi moto. Ape South Africa. Mshambi ke Premier. Unga ke mshambi ukuchebi senakleyo. Kota ke Premier. Tizaku nikela kuwe ngoku to give us an update on implementation of 2019 Youth Parliament resolutions uh, outlining plans of the province in relation to youth issues in preparation for the seventh term of administration. Honorable Premier, over to you. Thank you, thank you very much, uh, Honorable Program Director, Honorable Keleku. Good I'm And it's Honorable Speaker, that's the number one who called you, but all speaker bonga back call. And uh, honorable members of the Executive Council, Nancy uh, Cabinet, and uh, honorable members of the provincial legislature, Nina, oppos opposition Gabay, governing party up. And uh, the leadership of South African Youth Council, uh, the, the traditional uh, and the religious leadership in Kosi, this one good as The deputy speaker can do far a power speak and come back and must be again at home. the distinguished guests uh, as called Paratikwe to Ngakumbi. Lomfan, who brought it up. Dr. Dolly Gasbe. When I'm found out. And uh, the youth of our province at large, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. As articulated by our guest speaker already, that we are gathered here under the theme encouraging a socially involved youth to promote active citizenry, entrepreneurship, and inclusive economic development. Honorable Speaker, let me appreciate the opportunity you have given us to be part of this uh, assemble of the youth of our province taking place in August, a month declared Women's Month, bestowing honor to women for the leadership role they have played in the struggle for the liberation 
in our country. Like all of us, young people and uh, women, we all struggled for a united, non-sexist, non-Russian, democratic, and prosperous country. That's a vision that we are all driving under the leadership of the African National Congress. That is what is called elsewhere the National Democratic Revolution. You as young people gathered here, you must understand what kind of this national democratic society are we talking about? We're talking about the united, non-racial, non-sexist, democratic, and prosperous country. So that's a project. That's a project, and uh, that chronological flow of those fundamentals, if are not adhered to, we are likely to see more struggles towards a complete liberation of our people. If our people are not united, we'll have problems. If we cannot address the national question, we'll have problems. But what I can tell you, since 1994, the governing party ANC has not failed to make sure that in two and a half years, there are elections in our country for the government of the people, uh, by the people, uh, for the people. That is your democratic government. It's only when you have got that sort of a, an ecosystem that will guarantee the prosperity of our country. There is no way. So it's important that we internalize that and we know how it flows as young people of our country, young people of our province. The late president of our governing party, um, President Oliver Reginald Tambo, once reminded us about the importance of young people in society when he said, and I quote, the children of any nation are its future. A country, a movement, a person that does not value its youth and children does not deserve its future, close quote. We meet here just a day after our country has hosted successfully the BRICS summit. The BRICS summit that also neatly dovetails on what uh, the president uh, tabulated a few years ago as part of our response to the recovery from COVID-19 and the natural disasters. I stand here joining many South Africans to say South Africa is coming all right. South Africa is looking bright. South Africa has got future. All of us, we must be optimists and really confront all pessimists around the future of this country. This country is getting somewhere. And we welcome the declarations made in that summit, at the BRICS summit. And also we welcome the um, introduction of the additional six countries that have actually joined that summit. Uh, so before that, the BRICS was accounting for almost uh, 40% of the world's population. You can imagine now what's going on. That talks market politics. So you've got a program that is clear to look at the challenge of the de-dollarization so that we've got a, an economy that, uh, as uh, Dr. Tolika, as uh, Dr. Sbeya was articulating here, can be able to uh, rise outside the parameters of neoliberalism. So that's a kind of a, an articulation, and we are leading that as a country, and it's part of the electoral uh, mandate in terms of the seven priorities that we want um, order and peace in our continent as well as in the world. So that's a kind of a foreign policy that our country is articulating as you have been listening to the president. Uh, Dr. Sbe, Kukonela Lizwe, la se UAE. Wanela Lizwe, kebe. E wana gela Lizwe, ke. Belige la fika, apa la fika. La fika, wongu mdu wakwela pezu kwe tafi. Kwa tetwa zonge zindu ezi panzgwe la. The only thing that I wanted to test young people of this province. 
was that uh, if Boeing cannot land in the Davistirman airport, which is our international airport, and they cannot land in King Palo airport, which supposedly to be another international, but it cannot be, it cannot even expand or grow, uh, but can land here at Bulimbu. What makes us as this province not to champion that, to exactly address these legacy challenges of underdevelopment, disinvestment, high unemployment, and all those issues. We're talking about development of uh, Dimbaza Agri Park, which must be linked to this international hub, uh, the cargo hub, which could be the Bulembu Airport. You get things done, process here, uh, we deal with the uh, issues of agriculture, process them here, yeah, get them out of this country, because we can be that food basket. The world today is said to be having about 60% of Arab land, and the bulk of that, it is in South Africa. Bulk of the Arab land is in the Eastern Cape. Honestly speaking, we should not be where we are, uh, Dr. Smear. As a province and as a country, uh, we, are the, we are the province that is endowed with the number of uh, uh, niche that can be able to help us to diversify the economy of our province. As you said, this province has uh, relied on the auto sector, the automobile or the car manufacturing sector for almost more than 70 uh, decades. Volkswagen, this year was celebrating 73 years operating here in South Africa. Mercedes-Benz, a month ago, was celebrating their birthday, 65 years, operating here in East London. Yesterday, I was addressing the AGM, Annual General Meeting of uh, NAMSA. The NAMSA is an organization of these uh, uh, OEMs, uh, the original equipment manufacturers are called to be OEMs, are the companies that are manufacturing cars. All captains of industry were here in the province in Karieja, uh, adjacent to Kabeja, in Nelson Mandela Bay. I was addressing as a guest speaker, CEO, MDs, presidents, Toyota, Ford, Mercedes, you name them, all of them are here. They are still here today. There are discussions taking place. A couple of our mayors are participating on the panel discussion. And in that discussion yesterday, it was very clear, and I saw a very easy AGM, which I think I'm going to take that approach to this NGO. Again, Pamba, Nisenina. Now, Vantan, honorable members. Uh, so I've seen a meeting that can uh, convene within an hour, 30 minutes, honorable members, deputy speaker but address billions in the world. 70% of cars, the Polo, you know, if you drive on any road, the, you can't have three cars passing or overtaking with, in those cars you don't see a Polo. I saw a brilliant one there called the Polo Vivo. Yeah, Viva, now you are born. <laughs> so that's a car most of you, you are enjoying uh, as young people. It's manufactured only here in South Africa, and there's some good news coming, but we'll talk about other news later in terms of establishing the province as the, the really, really auto sector hub. Currently, we are uh, having a 43% market share. That is 43% of cars manufactured in South Africa are manufactured in Eastern Cape. Few months ago, I met the, the president or the uh, chairman of Mercedes-Benz flew directly from Germany to meet us in unit buildings with the Minister of Electricity. Then I realized how serious people are in the world. Flying straight to the Owartambo International Airport, he's not looking for a hotel to refresh, he goes straight to the meeting. And I said, uh, how many of you can say without sleeping and say, no, I need a hotel first, I need to relax, I've got a jacket. You hear all funny stories that people say at a point of serving our people. Then I was so inspired, I said, hey, this is important. And he said to me, with the mayor of Buffalo City, we have been growing a plant as Mercedes-Benz South Africa 
in a city that is not growing. We wanted to do what you are trying to do, Premier, of opening up an international airport in Eastern Cape 25 years ago. It has not yet been done. So we appreciated the initiative you have done with UAE. Be strong on that one. It helps us as Mercedes-Benz to get our paths easy into this province. That's why you see the massive road network infrastructure that we're developing, trying to link the King Williamstown to Gabecha, you see the work that is being done, link uh, our Bulembu Airport to East London Airport, open that Mount Coco uh, Road, do that, but also open this. Recently we awarded and uh, introduced a, a contractor that will be doing this road. Is it R63? This road that is from Bisho to Kumcha. It's going to be white. It's going to be open. It is done. We've given to Sandra. It has been awarded soon. There will be dust. And you can see our province is, is a construction site. In every corner you go, almost all our major provincial road, whether you cross the Fish River up to Grahamstown, work is being done. Whether you go on a Sunshine Coast, whether you go on the eastern part of the province, look at your R61, N2, and etc. With the, the two highest bridges, largest in Africa, even over and above that one that we have in Tizigama, Le Banji Jambi. Eza Brokos, Akiwa Paya, M10, and Nasem Sigaba are bridges that are not actually found in our continent. Those will be tourist attraction, connecting KZN Deben to East London. You take lesser time from here to KZN. We're working on the wild coast meander to open up and tame our wild coast. That's the kind of work, young people, that we're doing to realize the province we want. We can no longer blame colonial system. We can no longer be blame apartheid. We are that generation that must fulfill, must discover um, its mission and fulfill it. It's us now. You can no longer talk about who, who was here before. We must make things uh, to happen. That's why, uh, Dr. Spear, when we came here, we had about, uh, in the fifth term, moving from previous term, we had about three government departments in the province uh, with clean audit. I can tell you now, not yet confirmed, but will be confirmed because all government departments are aware, that eight government departments out of 13 are clean. So we mean that and we're all focused on that. That's how you can address the issue of social distance, trust deficit with our people, but at the same time, appeal to the private sector. We're not going to change this economy, as he was saying. All the fastest growing economies in the world are dependent on the SMME sector. And that SMME sector cannot rely on tenderpreneurs. It must rely on intrapreneurs, where you have got innovation, creative thinking, I mean real business people. That's what we're trying to encourage through the Isikalo intervention. We're looking at ideas. We're not looking at you whether you can do a good tender or not. We're looking at your idea. Is this idea can give us shop right checkers of tomorrow? Because shop right checkers of today was an idea of someone. Mercedes Benz of today was an idea of someone. So we want people who can really think uh, creative. That's what entrepreneurship means to all of you young people. You can't be gathered here, all of you, you want to be employed. Most of you, you have got ideas uh, that must really be assisted to make sure that we move and, and go forward. As the ANC-led government, we stand here to confirm to the youth of our province that uh, we live by these uh, wise words of our late leaders, and today we will give an account of what we are doing to affirm the youth of our province. From the onset, we want to assure the youth of our province that as government, we have their back as they navigate um, this uh, uh, development trajectory in their lives. Honorable Speaker, according to the 2022 mid-year population estimates of States SA, the youth of our province accounts for 32.7% of our provincial population. That ranks as second after Limpombo as provinces with the highest population in South Africa. 
you must ask a question why. I like it, you are a doctor, you don't just uh, use logic, you are empirical on everything you are putting, as you have been arguing here. So it's going to be important to say, uh, we know logically that we are labor sending from our rural provinces. That's the reason that we are remaining back at home, our parents are elsewhere for greener pastures to make sure that we've got a future. That means the youth is a formidable constituent whose voice must be listened to and heard. Therefore, we appreciate that a program of this nature has been organized for young people to make their voices heard. I'm certain the youth in attendance here watched the interests, the BRICS summit, uh, where the chairperson of the NYDA, Ms. Asanda Luwaka, represented the voice of the youth to BRICS heads of state. We believe the issues she raised on behalf of the youth from BRICS countries will find an expression in the future programs of BRICS countries, particularly in relation to trade, education, skills, development, and training, economic participation and transformation, health and social cohesion. Honorable Speaker, for this youth parliament, I've been asked to do two things. One is to outline the plans for the youth going into the seventh administration and secondly, is to give a progress report on the implementation of resolutions that were taken in the 2019 Youth Parliament. I will do this simultaneously in my remarks, but a full report on the implementation of the 2019 Youth Parliament resolutions will be submitted by the Office of the Premier for the ease of reference for members of this August House. I must, however, highlight the challenge of COVID-19 and other natural disasters delayed us in the meeting some of these targets we set for the youth. That's why we're still talking about the resolution of 2019, but the work never stopped since then. But meeting like this, as you would remember, it would have been probably in 2019. Honorable members, when it comes to affirming the youth of our province, our response is informed by the mainstreaming, the, youth, um, the, provi the provincial youth development strategy focuses on one massive youth employment programs the creation, of, creation and retention of sustainable jobs, enterprise development and market activation, as well as sector-based skills development programs. This assembly of the youth of our province is sitting during an exciting time when the winds of positive change are blowing in favor in terms of job creation. Unemployment is, in the, biggest, is the biggest challenge, as Dr. Sibia said, facing young people in our province. And states SA, the uh, second quarter results indicate a slight dip in the unemployment rate to 39.7%, way above the national average, as he was actually arguing. But there is a downward spiral trend, the argument we're putting. The slight drop in, uh, in unemployment resulted in the creation of 23,000 jobs in our province between the first quarter of 2023 and the second quarter of 2023. The people who benefit the most from these jobs are young people. Yes, you can begin to look at what kind of jobs are we talking about, as Dr. Sibia Doliga indicated, but there is some work. Whether it's a construction, those jobs will be a year, two, three years, if you are constructing a 70-kilometer road from here, Bishop, to the N6 bridge, creating an interchange, N6 bridge, to actually Kumcha, and that road is done. We are one of the ones who are going to be able to do that. We are going to interchange by Gamako. We are going to be able to do that. We are going to be able to do that. We are going to be able to do that. So that's a kind of a work uh, Dr. Spear that we are doing. We are going to be able to do that. We are going to be able to do that. We are going to be able to do that. that correct direction. I must hasten to add that the government is targeting to create 200,000 jobs for young people in this. This is what we have said in our state of the province address, and this number is attainable. We are working flat out. We have sleepless nights to make sure that by end of this financial year, which is the end of this term, these 200 jobs will be able to be demonstrated there. We have over 40,000 of these jobs created through the Presidential Youth Employment Initiative by the Department of Education, which is represented by DDG Kiwagat here today. social media, but this is what we've done, and we've been doing it. Only in this year, 
About 43,000 jobs have been created for young people who are EAs, either general workers. It is happening there in your schools across the province. So it is a contribution towards this 200,000 that we are talking about. A city government of Mabayeki school, but my biggest school we go by Umzwacha or Balulegi before the figure Glenda. The young people who are EAs, as I've indicated in schools, these are kind of people that I'm talking about. The subs is currently recruiting 10,000 young people countrywide for enlisting in the police services. As you would know, when SARS recruits new members, it targets youth. Last year, I recruited 10,000. Yeni 10,000 le esiteta ngayo kwa subs. Kwa pakwa education, Mr. Jwagadi, soon about 15,000 of employees, including teachers, are retiring. So young people here yeah, have got an opportunity to get into that space as educators and also as the employees uh, of our government. So I'm saying in the next few months or years, we will be able to be creating more opportunities um, uh, of um, our young people. It gives me a great pleasure to inform this August House again that 782 positions have been advertised. I hope that is Bonil. Uh, actually, it's more than 1,000 job opportunities. Those are permanent jobs, quality jobs in government. So we are expecting young people. My understanding is that people who are living in the world are living in the world. They we are pleased to announce that the, the resolution passed by the Youth Parliament in 2019 advocating for the reconfiguration of the youth unit within the office of the Premier has been successfully implemented. The Chief Directorate is comprised of three distinct directories. The Youth Entrepreneurship Support. This is what we are focusing on the Youth Strategy and Skills Development Directorate. This development signifies the Office of the Premier's determination to address the diverse needs of youth. We are doing it. It was said here in 2019. While certain aspect of the 2019 resolution could not be fully realized, particularly the request to have Chief Directorate led by the South African Youth Council, it is essential to understand the role of and significance of PSYCH as a civil society organization and a prominent youth NGO, PSYCH is an in invaluable stakeholder representing a wide array of youth affiliates. Its engagement through regular stakeholders platform ensures that the youth agenda is considered. However, legislative limitations prevent government units from being led by adv advocacy groups. Psych PSYCH's crucial role remains in mobilizing youth organization and fostering their participation in our democracy and reaching our collective future. We look forward to continuing uh, our collaborative efforts with PSYCH and all youth organizations to foster an inclusive environment uh, that empowers the next generation and propels our uh, province towards a brighter future. We have one of the president of the SRC. We have many ideas as in place in cool. But when you have a president, less than 12 months. So you must implement everything like that. None is a psych, no new law for a certain period. Psych is a civil organization. What is important is how do we then uh, have a strategic relationship of psych being supported by, but psych cannot run government. Psych, just like any other advocacy group, you cannot run government. You see, now I'm mistaken again, if you as if you will be tenders. The principle is enough. Government must stick to the principle and agreement guided by psych to say we want young people to be employed when we are doing young people activities. And Lona is a leadership. leadership. But not as Ngenda or Quiz does attend leadership. Yo, I get those are good near. I got to take a salam But what I'm trying to say in responding to that. As a province, we've got a challenge of number of young people who are in that need group. That is not employment, education, or training. About 11,000 of them at Dr. Sbia 
uh, in the last metric results who entered grade R but were not uh, finishing on the finishing line. 11,000 were the highest, as much as we are also the highest province doing mathematics pure in the country. If you talk about mathematics, you get it here. Physical science, you get it here. That's what we are doing, focusing on that quality. We said this year we are getting to 80%. We are from 43% as a province from 1994. Today, we are above 75%. We are going to 80%. Come next year, Tonya. We are doing a lot of work with the CITAS now. We've been, been doing enough. I must accept it. Lack of uh, cohesion there. But now, almost all CITAS, 23 CITAS with billions of their budgets out there. So we are targeting all of them. We are working with the CITAS and others, etc. As I'm speaking here, we've just uh, had uh, an agreement with the CITA of 70 million adding on the money that we are giving to universities like University of Forte, Rose, NMU, and the WUSU has already been given that money to deal with the uh, histor historical debts of our students. So that's kind of what we are doing. Last week we were launching a 2.5 billion um, for young people that will be benefiting about 24,000 people uh, in terms of skills development with the Department of Labor. We are a province at work. As we speak today, from 1999, government budget of 441 million was with NSFAS. Today, government budgets 42 billion for NSFAS. Many beneficiaries of NSFAS are young people, particularly from the previous disadvantage. Was done as So to date, you have got more than a million young people in South Africa who are able to access higher education for free being paid by NSFAS. That's a reality as young people you must be able to talk about. That's a progress from 1994 to date our government has done to change the lives of young people. I can go to town and mentioning a lot if I had all the time, but I'm just saying as government we're here committing ourselves uh, to work with you and to ensure that uh, we move from just temporal to a sustainable jobs. This area has got cannabis as a niche. This area has got oceans economy. That's why we've worked with Nelson Mandela University to develop a master plan. Uh, we've got 800 coastline, which is untapped. All actually fishing boats that you see in the wild coast and elsewhere are fishing for either Deben or Cape Town, etc. So we are changing that so that our young people can no longer leave this province for them to be uh, fishermen elsewhere. They must be able to use that, and that's how we can tame the wild coast for the better. So, uh, program director, Mandiz Zibes Nizindo, is a man, the mentor of Teta, Kuba Uchokora. I can tell you, since uh, uh, in this financial year, Siku uh, Yongo 2023-2024, government has spent 600 million on companies of young people, Kui Procurement Yak, as we speak. So, we are focused there. We are making it a point that that is addressed. But also, government, I've said, we uh, are Isusa experience with entry point, with entry level, so that young people cannot be, <laughs> cannot be demanded at those kind of issues. Let's take it beyond that. Look for potential. Get young people being directors at less than 30, so that you can have productivity of government uh, moving forward. With those few words, okay, Program Director Mandibulele El Tubun Palona, the future is yours. You raw, young lions, raw. Columbus. <laughs> Who says our pinda ubu ye uze gle potia? Um Dandi Tege Lama Arab Gendi Tel and Jugend Wa Bullis. I pin de a conagi premier no coco bando bullies. Sam bring up humando Doctor Sibi and Zau Telange U Sondele Apang a Pambi. You know Baselange Yako on behalf of Indu Yoisom Teto. The Telo Indobana, the good Lulisel and Jay, 
Because, uh, honorable members and, and colleagues, as we are now proceeding through the formalities, but uh, to the young people, I just want you all um, to know that you should take your time, use it wisely, and pack to the legislature what the youth of the Eastern Cape have to say. For this is the great opportunity for us to show our province that we, are, that we so dearly love. The opinions that we have are valid. For we are not just teenagers, teenagers debating for the fun, but we are concerned citizens who want to contribute immensely to see a change and betterment of our beloved Eastern Cape province, the home of legends. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for um, your time, and I wish you the best of luck in this debate. Uh, honorable Speaker, Tatin Dawiyako. You may be seated, honorable members. I was informed that the members, they need to have a song. I can allow only that for one minute. Then we proceed. If there is any song or Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much, uh, honorable members. This is the start of the formal session, as it has been mentioned earlier on. Honorable Premier, it is a protocol before I formally take the seat and preside over this house sitting. Let me then first formally recognize your presence in the house and the presence of other MEC members and the executive of the legislature, the members of the legislature that are here, all our honored guests and the youth parliamentarians. Let me then thank you for your presence, honorable members, and the support that has been shown by the executive for this very important session and the program for young people to debate uh, their issues as correctly outlined in the theme. Honorable members, before we commence with the business of the day, let me then take this opportunity to remind the House on the ground rules 
that will then assist in facilitating this sitting. Members and guests are therefore reminded that this is a formal sitting of the legislature and therefore all standing rules of the legislature apply. Members are therefore advised that they must keep cell phones and other devices on silent, kindly indicate to the speaker by raising your hand when you want to be recognized by the speaker to speak. This also applies honorable members, those that are going to be speaking, the, the, the participants that when you make your point of order or you make a question of privilege, you will raise your hand. The speaker will recognize you respectively. Members who are in the chamber will use the microphones provided for them when they are recognized by the presiding officer. And members are requested to stand when addressing the chair in line with the parliamentary convention. As a word of advice, honorable members, members are requested at all material times during the sitting to dress decently so. Honorable members, now let me then uh, check, are there any notices of motions in the House? You are recognized a uh, chief whip of the house. You can go ahead. Sitting times. Press your microphone. Mr. Speaker, I move uh, with a uh, notice in terms of rule 130 of the standing rules that despite the, the provisions of the standing rules of procedure of the Eastern Cape Provincial Legislature, that the House approves the sitting times of the House at 11 for today, Friday, 25th of August, 2023. I so move. Thank you. Members, I put the motion. Agreed. Agreed. Thank you, honorable members. As per the decision of the WIPS committee, will not have any member's statements today. We will therefore proceed with the business for the day. Therefore, I will therefore request the Secretary of the Legislature, Honorable Kaman Maf, Mr. Kaman Maf, to read, Snempo to read the first subject matter for discussion. Secretary. Sbulele some lomo when do you is some tetra some bumagoloni Ogokala Uza Gukokwa Bambi Swan Olungwa Luteng Nagasana Wimbu Boz Ogu Pili Swana Nogu Nogu Koki Swagolucha no Namani so no Kaga Kaga Balimicha and Gobkumsha Spanishi for efficient and relevant programs for youth, social economic empowerment and development and leveraging on digital revolution. Thank you, Speaker. I will now call upon the honorable members from the various districts and metros of our province to commence with the debate. Kindly be reminded, honorable members, that each district or metro has been allocated five minutes each per order that is under discussion or debate. This therefore means that the time should be divided as per discretion. However, the presiding officer I will indicate when honorable members need to wrap in time. So these are the speakers that follows. Will therefore request honorable member from Sarah Batman, honorable Pundiso, all in fine. Take the floor. Hmm? 
Ah, baca tak ganda, bagus ah, besok hari. Ah, ah, macam mana? No, saya kau lulus. Don't do it. Yeah. Honorable members, as the as you appear there, will allow Masonwa Becha Sopi to be ready, then Afika Changela to be ready, then Tando Mjika to be ready, those first four. Yeah, so that we don't consume much time. Over to you, Honorable Member. We, the House remain in silent in that order. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Um, the chair seems to be suiting you there. Um, Sesson, are you speaker or seventh administration? Um, <laughs> my name, my name is Masonu Abe Jasopo, um, the regional secretary of the SAIC in Sarapanman. I am today the Honorable Jasop. Thank you. Um, the Honorable Speaker of the session, the Deputy Speaker of the Legislature, um, the Honorable Premier, dear the delicious, um, the Chair of Chairs, the Honorable Members in the, uh, in the, in the Chamber, uh, our distinguished guests in the gallery, you are greeted together. Nenkosi Zetu Um The current digital revolution, which is the fourth industrial revolution, is bringing a change in the way we understand jobs. New and more highly skilled jobs are emerging with many jobs that were used to now disappearing and becoming irrelevant. This raises a need for partnerships for efficient and relevant programs that will cushion this change. In Sarapanman district, we resolved on the following, that there is a need to broaden the public employment programs, such as the EPWP and CWP, to not only be about changing, to not only be about cleaning the grounds, but also include technical skills so to attract and absorb the unemployed skilled youth. We've resolved that there is a need for an integrated recruitment strategy where the business and the government sector strategically creates jobs that young graduates can be placed on for relevant exposure and further find means to keep them within the employed spectra. This is also a call for a monitoring and evaluation of employment programs especially on the entry-level jobs that the Premier spoke about, that they need to be monitored because a level five post is regarded as one that needs grade 12 and no experience. But if you were to monitor those level fives that have been employed, actually those people were shortlisted with experience. None of them have zero experience. So there's a need now to monitor and evaluate such. Um, we have resolved on the collaborative efforts of investments into the arts and culture industry, also known as the creative arts industry, which will not only contribute to local economic development, but will also make use of our human resource as a strategic input on social cohesion. This digital revolution is not without challenges, as the artificial intelligence can now reproduce work of our, um, reproduce work of our own human capital. Now, this raises the need of a legal tightening of copyrights and intellectual property protection. We have also resolved that there is a need for more awareness for youth funding opportunities such as the Isikalo Youth Fund. As many young people in Sarapatman are still unaware of this great initiative. Therefore, the OTP needs to partner with the civil society for rigorous advocacy on this fund and equally have a post-investment assessment. Um, that is shared with the public so that we can see the gains um, that, that the, the fund um, has, as per, uh, suggested by the guest speaker today. The new digital world needs digital citizens. As such, it was resolved that an efficient and relevant programs would be offering digital literacy training in all our schools, which should be coupled with free internet access and well-trained personnel for job creation purposes. Now, governance teaches us that all sectors must come together for the betterment of our communities. 
It is on this background that we felt that both the state and the private sector should collaborate to offer free online courses with focus on scarce technical skills that will assist in legitimizing young people's talents and so to make a sustainable living. We call for the public-private partnerships that will intentionally identify and fill all the vacant posts that the Premier spoke about is to us not as needs, but education is about cherish. They must be filled intentionally by energetic, qualified, and competent young people who are already digital citizens. And this will result in greater productivity and as such will be a win-win-win solution. We have identified that one of the stumbling blocks in youth empowerment and development is the lack of youth desks in our municipalities. Majority of the municipalities in Sarah Badmant do not have a youth coordinator to coordinate and champion youth interests. Even the two or three that do have youth coordinators, left they are nearing one 50 member on a, Left it one minute, honorable member. They are, they are nearing 50, already, 50 years already of age. For whose interests are they going to serve? So there is no need to appoint, oh, so there is a need to appoint and employ active youth to serve as youth coordinators. In conclusion, we felt that we cannot speak about partnerships for efficient and relevant programs for youth development empowerment if we do not speak about the need for an effective collaboration of the psych with municipalities. Um, the psych obviously serves as a civil society that gathers all uh, views of young people and creates one, one voice uh, that will be legitimate. Um, so when we live today, as troikas that are part, are part of this session, when we live today, you need to go to your municipalities and check whether there is an operational site there. If there isn't, speak to your regional leadership so that you can have a youth voice for your own municipalities. Um, Thank, you, Thank you, honorable member. Thank you. The next speaker is Honorable Afika Changela from Jokabi District. Good morning. Excuse me, I'm recovering from the flu. All protocol absorbed. All, all protocol absor observed. Sorry, the English yabaleg. Um, I'm here, I'm filling in for Afik and Tando, they're currently here. I am from Ichokabi, I'll also be discussing the first topic. So, as the youth of Ichokabi, we met um, during our district parliament and we discussed what this thematic area means to us, so we broke it down. Firstly, so I'll just read it again, it says, Partnership for efficient and relevant programs for youth um, social economic empowerment and development leveraging on digital um, revolution. So number one, we thought firstly we should take this time to honor this, this house. Number one, we feel like this is a great start to a great partnership where you allow us into the greatest house in the province to hear um, our grievances and our solutions as young people. Uh, so we are here, we honored the invite, and hopefully um, we will have a productive session where you will hear us. So, what we were talking about, what this topic when we broke it down meant to us is, how do we empower young people in a way where they can um, compete in the job market socially and, and economically, and also how do we as young people benefit from the fourth industrial re uh, revolution and a lot of things being dig digital, right? So number one, we know that if change is going to come, it's going to be structural, meaning we will need the assistance of this house uh, via legislature and policy to assist us in a few things, right? So what we discussed was the problem with access. So what does access mean? Um, Ichokabi is fairly remote and rural. Most of the schools are in rural areas. Um, although most of them don't have computer lands, some do. Um, however, even the ones that do have computer lands, a lot of us realize that the lands were considered redundant because um, most of the kids leave school not even knowing how to draw up their CV on land, right? 
um, on word, excuse me. So what we discussed was one, besides just the lack of resources saying we need, um, if we're going to compete in the fourth industrial revolution, which is digital, we are going to need to learn how to um, use computers at a grassroots level. Number one, the Department of Education was very instrumental and vocal, which we appreciate and we thought was a great idea as young people, that they're going to introduce robotics and coding into the school syllabus. However, we've realized that that only exists in private schools because number one, obviously the access to um, computers, etc. But also most of the uh, teachers in these schools, um, so we understand um, that you guys come from an area where computers were not the everyday use of life. So most of these teachers as well, besides having to, <laughs> besides having to draw up lesson plans, etc., and everything else they have to do, they have the issue of they themselves under a system that they grew up in or were educated in don't really understand how certain things work. So we advised, because also we have the issue of unemployment amongst young people who are graduates in IT, who are graduates in robotics and computer software sitting at home, we suggested outsourcing things like this to maybe NPOs or enterprises where a group or consortium of young people meet, they register a company, and they given just the mandate of what you guys will do, you will go around um, rural remote schools teaching kids how to use computers, teaching them robotics, teaching them coding, because you can't just start after you leave matric or after university thinking I'll compete in, in a world that's so digitally advanced if it hasn't been introduced at a grassroots level, right? So we feel that is um, the big problem that we need access, and access is not just resources to computers, but actually expertise. Uh, people who are qualified to actually um, empower young people to teach these things, and most of the times it's NPOs that um, aren't even relevant in our province. Most of them are in the Eastern Cape. So we would like assistance um, in this regard that we want to teach young people of which old Gabi how to use computers, um, how to get into robotics, uh, software, etc. So, Honorable Lutatu, who Premier mentioned the BRICSA meeting, and one of the amazing things we have is free trade with BRICSA meeting. So, what China does, this is an example, right? Wrap up, Honorable Member. Time is up. Thank you. Let's call upon Honorable Anele Ala from Krisane. Let's clarify here, Honorable Ala, you have got uh, two minutes as per the, your time allocation. Over to you. Mandikashe lezi ngosin Dila the Dia the delicious Honorable Let me greet Everyone in the house Colleagues Okwa mkufuchane Kuzo presenda What young people of Christian Have discussed We have noted that Retail space has been dominant of people book figure. We said in Krisani that we need to have cooperatives in each and every ward. Why is that? It's because the serious budget of the Eastern Cape goes to the nutrition. Now, if you have schools that has young people and you have young people who are, act, who are not active in that space. It's a serious question that we need to answer. So we decided in Krisani that we'll have cooperatives in each and every ward. And the partnership that we have created in Krisani, we have um, CDA, CTC, ECTC, um, 
and as well as social development. The reason we have created those uh, uh, relations with those uh, institutions, it's because these institutions that I've mentioned, including NYTA, they, have, um, as they specialize in training. Because we do not want to go on, a, on, on, on retail without being trained properly. That's why CTC in the process, they have assured us that they will give us a pre-training in understanding the, the cooperatives. But the other institutions, they will make sure that they will, be make, they will be giving us the governing aspect of cooperatives and the sustainability of cooperatives, the financial aspect of, the, of, of cooperatives, so that we do not come up with something that we do not understand. Th those are the agreements that we have made in those, with those institutions. Now, there is a second part of this. Um, we, 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 we have called upon the, C, the, the CETA that deals with retail as well. After all those training, we can go and actually go in detail and be trained on CETA, I, I mean with CETAs on the retail space, because we want to have, not to just to go and, and target the, the spaza shops, and all. we are talking about serious retail business, not only the spaza shops, where we're supposed to be the ones who are distributing and assisting those spaza shops in our areas, being filled by young people or ran by young people. Now, there is a second aspect that we have agreed upon as, as, as Ikrisan. We have looked into um, the, the Mr. and Ms. Ikrisan in a different perspective. We looked in that as a, as a program that could come and, and give opportunities to our fashion designers, the graphic designers, uh, your IT specialists, where we'll be able to create apps that will be educational. And when you create an app, you have an opportunity to fundraise through an app because when you get an app that is um, going through the space, um, you will have people who will advertise on that and will be able to raise a revenue through that uh, 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 app, uh, app. Now, one of the things that we have made sure is that in that we have about 120 young people that will be employed in that space. Just on that program, that will be annual. And on, this, on the expertise that I've mentioned, plus marketing, because it's, it's a space that is not um, taken serious in our villages, because they are not even aware. But by the way, Bendi, Bendi Shock, the Premier, uh, going to the KCSA Mount Arthur, Left with a one historical minute, honorable school, member. a hito historical school in our, in, 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 our, in, in our district, it does not have a computer class or computer lab. A serious embarrassment. Now, we want to change things and, and digitize things, but we are unable to even get with these young people getting the basic things on making sure that they get the skills. Thank you so much, House. Thank you. The next speaker is uh, Honorable Amos Chekula from Oartambo District. You have... Two minutes, honorable member. Thank you, Speaker. It is a bully, sons of Katile, um, parties, so well, Pon, Lassa, Eastern Cape, Honorable Tatma Boyan, um, Semla Amos, or Tambo. Each challenge is Tinas Tibenazo facing rural areas as Salaguzo, especially Post and Jones. When we are talking about the uh, digital, digital uh, revolutions, it challenges now in the network. You are challenge key part. If if you look put this, all up on the la la pe Eastern Cape, Kuga, you are trying to say all. If you look strong, I'm a panel. You go to maskers put this network before this is was go to this battery. You know, na bando, baguazi, ugu melana, na lom kanga towale fort industrial. This program is doing a lot. If you are going to train your the internet, you will be able to compare the learning of your school with your mobile. My daughter is computers. Tina says, "But the last time she left the class, she said, 'See, college school is not the same as your phone computers.' So, as far as I am concerned, when the band is over, order, order, honourable members, proceed, honourable members." Ewa nando ii nage, ne challenges as nzegayo. If si saiki sifunukubambi meeting, 
uthathi xa ukuya kwe venue umzekeli odibana kuyi hola zaka masipala ukhwela nge 55 rand but if ungayenza ibe online okanye uZoom i meeting lo nto izawusehlisela kuwe kumaxabiso ukukhwela siye eBoston Jones but the challenge that is nayo ngapha emakha emaphandleni i network i data i abiz i proposal esinayo ne solutions ezokuba kwi ward ne ward makube khona i venue ezokwenza kumasipala ibe ne Wi-Fi ibe nomuntu ozokwazi ukuoperate abantu anqa befuna ukuapply le zivasithi bafundiswe ngula mtu one Kozi, minute left umphathiswa lo wezinqubo zika digital ibe osinika i laptop phakwa ka 12 eposan Jones but the challenges now are about I go come to skill those of us who find some one to be left of seven so on so on. So if you get sick, call local in city. Now come those of us who find some one. So I was shame for buying a band to spend a put this on a pump. The band space just buying a same for and goes. Thank you, honorable member. The next speaker from OR Tambo as well. Honorable Yonela Mtolo. Three minutes. Oh. Ngitsandu kubingelela ku speaker ne parliament iyonke. Angisazi singi singelo kumisu. Sitema sila pansi si o artambo sabo nguzi sinenkinga yokala yoti shabanga wazukseben si computer bona be be board. Yes, it's true, it's true. Baningi foot. Uti isha magmele a a a end the question paper. Utela umuntu funda e e us umuntu funda ukzn. Ukuti tela mense the question paper. The question papers of figuring our errors obvious because even na yagas we check. Go contact with the visual studio. Aben aben the it buyers. Tina is the e o r tambo. Si bone ukuti ma vai tati visual studio ba yise even na ma kuma high school na ma primaries because ako na ma computer ma primaries but amanya was sebens. Amanye ayan chonjo ngei nje lunga kondagal. Uti kisa wii proseso ya kuti afuni kompyutu uti beila. Uti ya bona ababu yeli ni nukuti kwenze ya ganja. Uti kufulege office ngotu mundo no kie uyeto. Endi pela ganja alo. Endi inga paka atisi ayazi songi. Inde yenzu kuti isi kukuze ilu kuti kukubege kufundi si ingane. Nga ma kompyuta it's because si bonile nge COVID kuti bekufundu wangawu. Eish inkinga iishu yetata. I Department of Education, bestela, mshaumbi. If bazo guaz, ba provide the inga nenge data during ama holidays. Because ez inye, zia attend, ez inye zguaz gu attend. Ma inju yi transport ya kokelo mo yes go lene. Umzalo mu nya gabi na ima lo kokelo yi transport ya guti singa ne. For yi two hours is go lene go nga ma chun holidays. Enge na yo no guti yi yes go lene every day. That's why it's always in the school transport, but as can be nice. Kule isu ya ma computer, be stella futa ma computer, abe updated. Angwazu kufiga ngu yone la ngifiga na mslanji ngizo. Sebe nsi computer sa palwe, asipile wa siye 2019. Kotu ya sala wena lape computer lab. One minute, honorable member, left. Uya sala lape computer lab, putu ya fundis. Kota was neyo tukuti computer updated, noma yiko updated na. Thank you. Sia sia bo sia bo anga bolungo le kun pegleyo. Sia bo anga lungo le pegleyo. The next speaker is from Nelson Mandela Metro. Luyolo Twisi. Three minutes. The next speaker from Liolo will be Honorable C. Lemzin to be read as well. From both of them, from Nelson Mandela Metro. Over to Honorable Member. Uh, the time starts. Mandis Buzele and the city all protocol observed. Uh, the Tetanga for why are got and the petty pepper. 
it means eco and Young people, there's a difference between the generation of 1976 and the generation of today. The generation of 1976 was fighting against the apartheid system. But the generation of today it is fighting to participate in our economy. We are facing a high rate of socio-economic issues in our province, such as crime, SRHR issues. There are digital innovatives and innovations uh, that are there that can reduce these issues. But what we are lacking as the youth sector, it is support and the true definition of partnership between us and the government. To you, government, young people must not be a vehicle of mobilization only. Lando ya partnership maibona kale from Mekalin kutiwa kupadnarishwa nat kota sibona kala where there is need of young people to participate in programs that are being brought by government without young people. Diploma e kebeha Apo kutuwa ipa ya lombatu wa lombatu wa ngabalazi yo. Akutokwa kipofu. Nelson Mandela Metro is an economic hub. But there's a youth unemployment conundrum. One minute left, I remember. Due to the municipality that doesn't recognize us as a youth sector, I will demonstrate our unhappiness as a youth sector. But as a South African Youth Council, we came up with an idea, seaborning like a youth unemployment, so approach a skills institution that 3,000 young people must be trained. After that training, we're approaching the private sector, they must be employed. We want a representative, a Puma South African Youth Council. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Member. Next speaker. Uh, All down, Honorable Members. The next speaker. Over to you, Honorable Sislem Zini. You have got your three minutes. Mandi tatel tu ba ndi correcte u speaker wenge wi som tetwe pondweni. Ngu ayanda ngu ma kebe nge ifani. Ndi melu si le oswele ke lwe si se mnyangu si omlanda. Kwa nyanzele ngdo ba angabi kwa na mslanje. I am transgender woman who's at a sisi. Kere kasi puma pane. Minga put. To add on what on my counterpart has alluded to the house. Si se li ke... See Nelson Mandela, and we had. Let's let's afford him uh, her opportunity, please. Afford her, Speaker. Yeah. Yes. We have managed to consolidate a um, few pointers of skills development and job creation for young people, social cohesion, economic and transformation and entrepreneurship, health promotion, youth development and coordinating, implementation processes that, of course, would reduce unemployment. Strengthen representative of the voice of the young people, create jobs, promote economic emancipation, effective response to youth development and machinery. Umamu Makubela would uh, take into consideration and note that these were the inputs and submissions that we had robustly discussed upon. That, of course, would cover the National Strategic Plan Premier. Apokona, we had incorporated from Pillar 1, that of course would speak to leadership and accountability so that we must have a rapid response team in implementation processes whereby kwezi projects upremiya azibaluleyo ba makuzo account to those that have benefited sikwazi ukubona ba sihambe samaphi where we have green areas and where we have gray areas so that we use the systems and implementation processes put in place to cover the gray areas where we have red seeds so we become the greener seeds apa khona sizo implementa khona izinto zethu we moved on further to cover up pillar 3 that of course would be the security and liaison in the 
MSPs, say as bamos e establishment there to infect our buildings is yeah than the lizwa ngama para. We need to strengthen working relations in the security cluster at local government level, provincial One and minute national, left, so Blanda. that it becomes easy for us to protect our buildings. So I conclude on pillar six, that of course is information research and technology, where our graduates are unemployed. They represent us in these seats so that they research and they become if barriers is abandoned to participate. Thank you very much. Honorable members, the next speaker is from Alfred's origin, Honorable Ev Toko. You have got your three minutes, honorable member. Kumshalinga pambi leo begele gileyo mankali ngugu tina nganinzi bazayo. Ndoti kwaka kwaka namle gile pegi lendi bege pansi kube. Andi zugu bendi kumshaga kulu manvele ndi bege ikata ndo zaguti. Dizokala ngugu tika se ikona yamkele. Kaso yamkele le sui kagak pela so se uze nesombululu. Apa siyabona uguba gwimputu gwesi zamayo, sinemiba etandu gusogo li saifana ni low trading. Gogu ge gwezi mputu gwesi zamayo, egu putule ni ulu cha gunye nesizwe setu. Zinto nina egu esingati sinyate le guzo, nesingati senyusele ama kausi guzo. Egu kunigise ekunsekseni uguba wonke ubanu ya figelela kwimputugo esi chonga nana ayo yobu kaka kaka. Asi lulucha asi chongi gupela apa ilizweni emzansi Afrika siya chonga na gumanyi amazo uguba wona akuba nchani. Sitesa bonba unobu kaka kaka ubizwa ngoba zi robots obu zayo. Esinga bu, esinga, esinga, esinge nogu, esinge nagu ugu gubale, ugu gubale, ugu gubaleka. Kuba sinazo, ne ntlobo ze moto, egu tuwa zizo introchi uswa, ezi kubayo. Besine ITS, eza shuga shuga na ayo, ngugu shiana kwetu mshambi ngatingi minyaga. So, enye indo esina yoga kulu, njemba si face ene ni low trading. I low trading, aitati kpela umbani, istatila unye ne network, kuzeguti kwez ntoze tuzo butaka kaga, si sebenza ngazo, sifuna unke ubani efunde ngazo, singa wazo kubege. Gogu, sashala pansi, sakti mba indona esingaza na yunga luchincho. Sabo nba kagu nogu fama. One minute left. Ez doku tuwa zi, 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 zi network stations. Gwinda uze tu genda u Apo unke ubane zofiele la nubawa gwinda wenchani Sibe ne network nga maklesha unke Umbane uko na unge eko Ne computer, i computer inga se Inga nyuselelua izi nga layo Inga biko in a form of a laptop In a computer inga se in a translator to e forms of e cell phones. It be portable in a form of a tablet or a smartphone. So that is so was ba ivele ibe sistrelo eluntu in ilonke. Singa binam to o ozo ozo shiega. Tam se chinsi swa e inputugo zanam slanj. Thank you, honorable member. Ten minutes. Honorable Songezo Spambo from Alfrenzo. Your time starts. I'm totally little bang being a little honorable speaker. Me being a little the first citizen of the province, honorable Oscar Mabuyane. Njongo busu kazi le ngowase Alfred nzo where it's the area regarded with umshabu mning. Mino kwe tu agu kwa mning honorable speaker. Kuhuti we need to have the skills that are aligned 
with uh, the type of economy that we are having. For an example, um, when we talk of e agriculture, it's the primary contributor to the economy of uh, the state. Yet, if we do not consider that, it would mean we will also be relying uh, in the nations like the US and stuff, of which I usually believe those are the nations that are, are capitalist driven. In fact, uh, they are profit driven. So it means once you allow them to do their investments at any time when they wish to withdraw, then you will be left hungry. Uh, let's introduce internal agriculture as early as the high school so that it would link necessarily with the vision that we are having uh, in terms of the agri agricultural um, activities. When you talk of the fourth industrial revolution, it's the vision that was being developed by certain individuals, yet uh, we are the last consumer, consumers of the product that is there. So it means even the curriculum that we are having needs to be scrutinized. We need to begin to be the uh, profounders of uh, these activities and also see about to initiate programs other than being the consumers because I believe would see mostly most of the time uh, we as Africa we usually are being regarded as the consumers of the product that are being produced by um, the well-developed states in as much as Alfred so it's rich in land even the processing of uh, the agricultural products that are found in our area should be processed there and only be transported for the consumption to other areas other than being uh, other than Uzi Alfredzo becomes the consumers of the main product that they are also um, 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 plowing. So Google can show you in terms of uh, solidifying internet food security and also scaling the nation, it is quite important that we necessarily check what's in a area, then we necessarily implement the relevant skills for those relevant uh, productions and bong. Thank you, honored member. The next year speaker. It's uh, Sakele Kota from uh, Matole District. Thank you. Thank you, Speaker. Uh, you have your three minutes, Honorable Member. Oh, thank you very much. Um, greetings to Honorable Speaker, Honorable Premier, uh, the Program Director, uh, the traditional leaders, Honorable Guests, distinguished guests, my colleagues, I greet you all. I am greatly honored to be given this opportunity uh, to Tete with topic um, yeah, yeah, youth socio uh, economic empowerment. The Atanda Gilkazele Lage, Ugayan Dishale, and Dwendo Gubana, Gunezindo, Ekfaneles, Gola Seleka Kulu, Ezingaz in Dobana Singakwazi, Uguti, Sipuli, say Eastern Cape, Ikakulugazi, Ezindo Bambe, Eastern Cape, Ugut Inga and Belinda. El Kalela again, Dogbana, Honorable Premier, Uzquala Selus Neti, Sesilucha. This is Dresinjan Ezum and his Balul. In nepotism, Nakunye, ne corruption, Nakunye, ne crime. Isol, Kabelul, Sifigenzi map, Kenabaku Kutula, Oganyu Kagezo, Gwenzo, I high step in the lane, Sizofik Sain. This is Dresu Ezi Bula like a cool economy yet. Silap Eastern Cape. And when I turn in Obana, Sizam in Obana, Imalizi to the Seculate, Upper Eastern Cape, Zinga Pumel was in Indao, the Sikwas of the Nimalizi to up. And as Zindo, these are the heinous, and it, it derogates our rights, it disparages the role played by our forefathers. Beluela, Impiloye to Beluela, Tina, in Obana, Spenobum of right, Spen a future a betel. This is the Ezo, a finalist is Kuala Sel, who goes the Sikwas, Sibeno Bumi, Obuzo, Kwas, Nobana, Kafika, each generation Ezai, Ifika Sikwasi, Ugutini, Sikwasi, Ugu Melana, Noguti, C. Nike, Info Neko Zayo, Fanele Glay. Our legend who are affiliated in the great affliction and sacrifice for their lives, for better future, for Ulu Chal Ulu 
bafa be felo ndo bana sikwazi ndo bana sitini sibe sikwazi bana zindo ezina kuti zisinqede ebomini but thina ngokuthi ithatha for granted umsebenzi abawenzileyo for ubombethu and yinto leyo eza kwenza singakwazi kuphutha okunye ubalekileyo abantwana aba variable ezilalini abantwana aba aba ki drugs ezilalini but ingindo bana sibanike skills bane skills abantwana bapha ezilalini and futhi bane talent especially engqadu sine minds ezikhoyo apha eziyiko Gauteng ezingakwazi ukuthi zibuyise zithi plow back kwi communities zethu ezo minds ezo be farmers yeza zizo plow back nje enye yazo ekuthi hayi harmony ekwazi into bana iphuhlise ulutsha Iya kwazi into bana ibafundise ukulima ibafundise zonke izinto ne skills zi minds ezo kufanele ba siyaziqokelela silulutsha zize zizo plow back ngoba order to bachitha igazi ngenxa yempilo zethu Thank you The next speaker is honorable Kamisa Tengile from Amatole district Kamala Makoska Honorable speaker Dicelo Buli Sangalom Buli so of my colleague Otobo Shala up. It goes without saying, Speaker, that young people of the Eastern Cape Province hunger to sit at the discussion table. Go to a get out to Uguba Kose Tafilin, Sambu Gumen, Tinagas a Ketuba Lape Tafilin, a delicious Yolando Selap, Toga Pilang and Jongo. We are as the case in Salang and Pumlotina First submission, um, Honorable Speaker. Basic one Every child is born into this Eastern Cape province introduced to a system, a system of education. And yet we still talk about unemployment. Therefore, we need to ask ourselves, Ndokba, the system here education, is it meant to produce what it is producing? Because I want to stand firm and say, this system as scenario is producing beggars instead of givers. So I therefore stand for a re-look into the curriculum. Ukuze atata manyato lo siza mzazi. Tinake pe amato lo siya mzalo mtu ngebumu. Uya yazi na yuchi esu yaza pe amato. So one want a relook into the curriculum that we have in our schools. Maganga tumdana ezalwa abe introduced to the whole 12 year system. Apu menga kwazuk pila. It's a wasted 12 years. It's a wasted 12 years. Secondly, honorable speaker, a noticeable chunk of our youth population, Mandijulekleendo, GS Wetu. Young people in Amatole constitute 33% of the population. So when we speak of youth development, Astali Malizo, Astali Favor, who are asking for what is due to us. We, we are a noticeable chunk of the population. So that chunk One participates left, also in business. Ditala Gupagame, my colleagues, with your permission, speaker, Uluchaluendal. Those two young men are from Amatole region. They have a business. They are supplying ShopRite Boxer and other local markets with veg and fruit. They are also employing young people. <laughs> Lastly, uh, comrade speaker, honorable speaker, sorry. <laughs> um, we speak of unemployment okay, and yet, I think in the circle one minute to speak. Uh, we speak of unemployment, and yet we've got TVETs in our region. Abe graduator Bayapi. The GS came here and spoke about innovation. The Premier Ngatiba Pupi Pupelinye came here also and spoke about innovation. Are we being practical? We've got factories as in Valileo. If factories ever come to the Avulo, go to a bonke, Mabaso practices are up and Jababene skills. Thank you. Honorable members, the next speaker is from Buffalo City Metro. Honorable Sia Bonga. The time starts, honorable member. Thank you very much, speaker. Dibu yendi zeku honorable premier. 
the delicious. The bullets and a go bang gom. In post the guns and land or ye to land reform and agriculture bang gom. This is a cobay cashelit. Nonetheless, stating in the coil and plunge. And his mammy colleagues is Kubas or Wonga, but his person day one. No, you can have the best best talent of what you see and young as best and can't born Mona Calundown. Lendy Tetayo eating of Nashkal City. Before and this young and needs assessment. Lendo and collaboration. which is the stakeholders, e government agencies. In the private sector. Honorable Premier, Kulando in the private sector, the Mamele Apa U, Uanele Ala, a co by city, Masamba Sokina, NGOs, about my friend, but Slibandwe one, stating a fourth industrial revolution up. So, in a temperature with a space, a private sector, Zani, there's this thing called e commerce. I was not trying drop shipping. I'm sure they are not aware, but yet it is a mile because it can generate up to 100,000. It is a young alone. But yet it's a funa song you're playing up because of space, so my friend, of which as co possible that cool because already it's a best discovery. Hence, I'm saying, we are back and so if you're going to have a national land, you're going to have a program of design. Apple Sabbath still a corner, you know, you're going to have a develop and design programs as out of Tanga land. As in Doge, sitting, I okay, it call a glando man as be educated, not in the school. To be educated, you can do school, okay, when I want to put me in the man in Cuba and children are well because the speaker. Yes, another member, what you're raising on? And Cosica Kulung on the Balula speaker and the Taluk Lung is a good pillar to premier, see no cohesion. Thank you, Honorable Member. That is noted. May we proceed, Honorable Member? Thank you. Apologies for that, Speaker. And go to colleague. Noted. Uh, when I speak of land or programs design, Honorable Members, the strong in Doban, the program Setangayo is going to deal with education because we are not educated enough. Hence, in Chetanga Lendoyes, in those e commerce, in Gazuanga Bandaba needs. Secondary to that, after knowing 20 that. 20 seconds left, I remember. 20 seconds left. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. After that, we need to deal specifically when our honorable members, Galandoya, access to e digital environment and skills. Because the belly in Siabonba, the corner is isn't just for the the wife, but care. This is a woman's sake, but nobody's the corner. We have no thank you. Thank you, Your time up. Thank, you. thank you very much. The, the next speaker from the PCM as well is Honorable Zipo Poko. Take your podium, Honorable Member. Uh, uh, honorable Members, man, tell El El to about the parties and things like an answer. Uh, we really need, we need to be provided with training, capacity building and programs with, to equip us as the youth of today with necessary skills to drive for this digital era we are in. This can, can include technical skills, training, financial literacy and leadership de development. We also need soft, soft skills training such as community and communication and pro pro problem solving. Uh, we, members of the house, we cannot run away that we are no, not well mentored. So we need mentorship, mentorship program, programs to connect young people with the experienced people who can provide, provide guidance to, and support and opportunities for networking to, to, to reduce the bridge between the education and employment and provide valuable insight in various industries and career paths. Moreover, members of the House, we have to implement robust mentoring and evaluation mechanisms to measure partnership programs. This will enable continuous improvement and ensure that, and ensure that resources are allocated where most needed. Singafumani resources is a CWA by the Dingegel Dag. 
Uh, moreover, let me let, by, in conclusion, members of the House, we, we have to work together to advocate for policies that support youth social economic empowerment and development, as well as digi digital inclusion. This can involve engaging with policymakers, raising awareness about the importance of this is these issues, and advocating for the funding and resources. But in conclusion, uh, by focusing on this efficiency and relevance, uh, the leverage, the leveraging the opportunities offered by the digital revolution, a partnership for the youth, social economic empowerment and development can make significant imp impact in the, in the lives of the young ones. It can e equip with skills and resources, opportunities they, they, need, they need to thrive and to, in this digital era and contribute communities and economy. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Member. Thank you very much. Now, Honorable Members, uh, this is the end of the, sub, the, the first order of the day. Now, let me also take this opportunity and thank all the Honorable Members for their participation on this matter. I will then uh, request the Secretary of the Legislature, Mr. Kamal Sniff, to read the second subject matter for discussion. Yeah. In English, it reads, Youth Participation, Land Reform, and Agricultural Revolution. Thank you, Speaker. Thank you, Honorable Member. Before we proceed to the debate, just a reminder to all members of the House that the, the, the Honorable Members are requested to focus on the subject matter as appears in order to assist the capturing of resolutions so that we, we move in that track. Now I will call upon Honorable Member Siabonga Jem from Sarapatman to come forward. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Somlomo, to the Deputy Speaker of the Legislature, uh, Chair of Chairs, Deputy Chair of Chairs, the Premier of the Province, MECs, MPLs, the Education Department led by Mr. Chwagadi, and Honorable Members of the Day, who I want to lobby should be made permanent residents of the House and honorable guests in the gallery. Youth participation, youth participation is the active engagement and influence of young people. And deducing from that, we would like to make the following submissions inspired by the great German philosopher Karl Marx, who once claimed, philosophers have either interpreted the world in various ways, the point, however, is to change it. A Sarapat man, a semi-rural district that accounts for more than 40% of the province's land we would like to see agricultural sciences made compulsory from grade 6 up to grade 9, and then one makes a choice on whether to continue throughout the FET phase with the subject. You would note, Dr. Chagati, that in Sarapatman, such a huge district with three CMCs, the Grahamstown CMC, your Hrafriel CMC, and a, human stop, and a human stop CMC. We've only got seven schools that offer agricultural sciences and management, and that can't be correct. And our belief is that this will afford young people of this country an opportunity to explore and venture into an important sector that deals with food security, sustainable development, and the sustainability of the livelihoods of our people. Providing economic opportunities for the youth in agriculture is essential to securing the future of agriculture in our region, but it is also imperative, Honorable Premier, for job creation, poverty elevation, and addressing the triple crisis of unemployment, inequality, and poverty. 
As Sir Patman, Honorable Speaker, we want to make a clear and call on building an agricultural college in Sarapatman to ensure the capacitation of young people, making them ready to modernize the sector in order to ensure the agenda for the revitalization of the agriculture is a lived reality. And this will enable the district, Honorable Premier, to be the breadbasket of the province. That is making, left. Making use of its vast hectares of the land and in turn make the province move away from being consumer based by exporting agricultural products from other provinces but produce its own food to feed ourselves, export to other, to other provinces and even explore international markets. In conclusion, always bear in mind that the people are not fighting for ideas. For the things in anyone's head, they are fighting to, earn, to win material benefits, to live better and in peace, to see their lives go forward to guarantee the future of their children, and that is Amilka Cabral. Thank you very much. Thank you, Honorable Member. Thank you very much. The next uh, speaker from uh, Sarah Batman. Yes, it's uh, Nondumiso Kulaza. Yes, Nonzula in that order, yes. Oh. The time start, Honorable Member. Uh, greetings to the House at Large, Honorable Premier Oscar Mabuyani to the speaker of the session, the chairperson, the members and the guests of this honorable parliament. I am reliably informed today that you can address me as honorable Tembega Daman. Mandicho premier baya bafane la bando ba chale title. Kako ito inge. Esteemed members, I come from Intabazo Katamba, Kula Richin Ektwa, Yi Richin Kacho Unzingo, Kabi. Encouraging a socially involved youth to promote active citizenry Entrepreneurship and inclusive economy can essentially be promoted through championing and ensuring youth participation in land reform and agricultural revolution. Like any other revolution, the agricultural revolution needs to start from the primary essence of our educational system. The lady who spoke here spoke about an irrelevant curriculum that feeds us to be employees instead of employers. We have a curriculum that does not speak to the priority sectors as identified by the Eastern Cape Development Agencies. Ito Kabi, allow me to paint a vivid picture of economically rich in engine. It is a region that has competitive and comparative advantages of being one of the largest wool producing uh, 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 regions in this country. Number one. Ogwesbini, we have a vast land that is available, but however in our resolutions, Lomklaba Silbona, Uniki so kumani kusiko ya vuga nam sanje glom kuku we abuya ngom sogne upstairs, lom saba omeluba silimakuo as young people. Zingosi, in one of our resolutions, ziteta nani ziti, sitala traditional leaders in each and every word to allocate le not less than fifty hectares to young people in farming so they can be able to be part of our economy. Asiteta about the resolutions as abando bazi solution drivers. We are not part of the problem, we are part of the solution. Siteta Ngendoyoba, the curriculum needs to be changed from primary school up until to higher institutions of learning. Premier, you are currently building an institution of higher learning, actually, Ikala Tivet College, in Stack Spread in Jokabi. However, the curriculum that is there is HR, it's uh, plumbing, it's also administrative staff. That does not speak to this priority sectors that we're speaking about. We're making a resolution that Ikala Tivet College is not going to open unless it caters for agricultural students. <laughs> Secondly, we're speaking about uh, skills capacitation to sort out uh, the changing economy. We have NYS, and I'm happy that the Presidential Youth Employment Initiative is also here today. Asiniboni Kabi, Nipelela Metros. We have an issue of being geographically challenged in terms of where we are. Kunzima for e initiatives to come to our municipalities. As such, we are requesting that each and every municipality in, in the local economic development offices, they have an NYTA office, they have a CEDA office, they have an OTP office that can cater and uh, assist with access to information to young entrepreneurs in Jokab. Asafunu kuzape krisa in PCM, mazize kuti as opportunities. We are also speaking about an issue of 
being able to place agricultural unemployed students with projects the CWP era nongo kogta. Currently, kuko iku shezi 250, ezi nikiswe tu inkosi. There is no exit strategy. There are no young people. Siteta nje, aika pelene six months, zifile zonke, no one can account. If there were young people in agriculture who were part of that project, guess seta into enjango. We are speaking about Indo Yobana. We need MOUs, government and the private sector to create uh, takeoff agreements with private companies such as your Dikla, ShopRite and many other entities where they are forced to buy not less than 40% of their stock member. from youth agricultural SMMEs. Siteta Indo Yobana, the, 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 the youth structures previously time and again, August Siteta ngo 40% walampal. Asiboni, these things that we are asking, the resolutions we are bringing, we can speak about them. There are solutions by us, for us, but who are, who are the people who are implementing them? So together, without us, there can be nothing for us. Golotrobo Premier, we ask and challenge you to listen together with this house to these resolutions. Niyake icho kabi, ibe ilef more than viable economy, efan ba iyo. Ngozi. Thank you, Honorable Tamana. Thank you so much. The next speaker. The next speaker is from Chris Sani. Oh, honorable members. The, the next speaker is Zamikaya Kondlo from Chris Sani. You have your three minutes, honorable member. You may start. Oh, thank you very much, Speaker. Uh, greetings to the House. Uh, greetings to Honorable Premier and Kashe Living Gosses as well. Good and Bully Secret Guest is a treasure in Chega Cool. Eh, Kalim Vagumin. Em Shambi, Pamgo and Kale, when a speaker. As we know that the Freedom Charter is very clear, Glendom Shab. It is the land shall be shared among those who work it. These words carry an, an immense meaning, especially to black South Africans who fought for many years who were robbed an opportunity to own land as a in a history is true. It has taken an incredibly long time to reach a point where the expropriation bill in 2020 was eventually gazetted in, 20, in 2022. The process of Section 2025 of a, a Constitution shall be addressed immediately. The issue of land rights, especially the right to restitution and redistribution, and important issue of justice human rights, which must be urgently addressed, and young people must bear the center stage. Honorable Speaker, in Krizan, the issue of youth participation in land reform and agricultural revolution, City Park cannot be achieved without us. Because recently we have an investment summit. Young people, they are being taken serious. Uh, the release of farm to young people must be prioritized by our government as the way of phasing out the non-functional cooperatives. Uh, Premier, Honorable Premier, in the end, the young people classified as corps. We tend to park our figure miles, Kaban. You learn the city in Gukaban, Wabaniki farm, a gabas mail, so that is a born again to Basia Pisgaban Rabat. Also, we need an immense intervention because Aban Bagutis farm and Guk, a was of Figuna Peklo, his ill, Yabana Bafuni's ill, because as farm and Guk, Aban Baguta Basek, Kukaban were outside the country. And to an extent that one minute it, left, it, honourable member. To an extent that we need that uh, intervention from the office of the premier urgently. There is a need of integrated mechanism in the scheme in a way of managing schemes in the Eastern Cape. See to hold many magara and bem shaumbi. I go review we shall a model of governance window scheme because we are liwa pa we are bulawa. In terms of household and food security, the department should introduce an example in small stock production scheme as well of promoting quality and massive production of sheep and goats in the province. Nala requirement the paragraphs out next one goods is a kush. Magibe ngati a neutralize wa a passing abandu abacha. If I may be bit critical, the provincial government role in colleges, institution of higher learning is silent or is not clear. And to an extent that a uh, role in the Gaugi faculty the institution does not link with the department of the Cape. So to an extent that intervention here from the Renze Gilepa also, thank you, honorable member, the time lapse. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you.
The next speaker is a call number. Better. You have got your three minutes, or I'll remember you may proceed. Your time starts. Ngosika Kulu, Honorable Premier, Mfoka Kwesha, Utata Udia, Ubeundi Peter Nyani, Honorable Kele Kunkena Tilindi Yam Tim. Mandingene M. Kuluin, Ben Pale in the Patsin, the Bonbais and Seven Zell alone. In when the Capileo is that he projects or young people that are in farming by a fund or departments, ne entities. But in any Bonileo, can you see Bonay Christian? It's like by a fund or for the sake of fund because Abanda Bacha. They were told Makabangene, Nagasane, agriculture, and the Snazos Nizi graduates, but as Sabins. I'm sure that 90% Wabandabam Yamabafandwa in the Eastern Cape are Konomye or Kashe graduates, Kui projects are born, cooperatives. Now, in the C proposal is that OTP, Mike, Itibane with e entities, Kahulmenda, your CETA departments. Your sitters, net departments, or TTET, but establish a program, your funder, your cooperatives for a period of a year or two by monitoring and make sure that the project it will be funded. Then the show that the amount of money ends, show that for the next two years there will be an intern, your agriculture, a graduate, as a monitoring the project. That's the first step. There will be a person. Or qualified within you know, the Mali who will be teaching Ababan Bale project with easy no is fun and bookkeeping. That's what we propose. Can you fund and can you fund and then show that the project is sustainable and the fund for the sake of funding needs Pikusha and then boom fund to pay Lil. We also propose that uh, Macbeth Indo a theater or a factory sing a kebu boy because it is as well is counted. Amongst the best, Kulenda ye ye wool growing, ne mohe. Magbeko a factory that will be in Krisan, as our consegue is that more jobs, Zienzeka, Galendo boy, sing up tati spends, sip chu, sip chule good. Magbeko indo a pushesa, a minute left, Krisan. We also propose that there must be e agricultural schools in every municipality because uh, see, see, I believe that Umshabi Krisan ukona. But abanda bacha abaufumani kune akrimende koyo kwenye wamyom shaba kasa kasa ne kasa no kolo kola kala leto waba umdu only mayo magani go only two hectares and that's nothing. We also do propose or support lendi bite to assist state to say show kabi about if fifteen hectares each and every project manza. Thank you, honourable member. We now the next uh, speaker is uh, Honorable Kaya Mtimkulu. Over uh, to the Honorable Member. Mandi Tatel Tuba and the Bully Segui Kuluba Patiswa and the Bully Saba Patiswa and the Kasele Kungus and the Bully Se Amalungu Parliament Akoya Msan. Galenwe youth participation in land reform and agricultural revolution. In like a Ibe corner, Quesa space is so limo, and Gugugugula Lassema Pantheon. Ilendo Gugba, I'm a farmer, I have this perception of a Kagum farmer, a Lima, a spinach, a Lima cabbage, a Fuyin Guk, a Bania Agu, a Ibagu beef farming. But as it tapers into that space of agro-processing, which is into up and over as well, since I'm against that thing, into unemployment, then I go if we can taper into that. But also, I think God will get now. You go to that. We have been a galley log land. We have been a farmer. I want to be a gully into into primary agriculture, which is Baba Bafeli says. And for Goba Tinki, Sabanga, Ika Kulu, Agro Processing Goba, the end notice in Yoga. If you now go to Kona Lendoka, 
Kubopuma Wogu Dr. Da, your farmer support, a power apply just for inputs and other things. Uh, so, Ilapo uh, Gindesi Chungen and I. Also, Sipinde Sibe Nenglagi, ye climate change. A lane like a climate change, Latis Nama farmers, and I um tell a lago because since Tana Kulen was a chemical fertilizers. A Siekel and Logulima Gimiku, in fact, Salin Yagimiku, a about Wafunes chemical fertilizers, a Zizi Rilisai carbons, a then the pollute ozone. Then since back the Zogustua Kuning Ganyam, but Diligim is Funego Premier, Ban, the Bog or Kelaban to Zin, the seven Simales Gul. So, Funer and that is strong as one. Also, Premier Buko are Watertango, Gomese Dispens and uh, UVW, Abakoi. I think also, Funegan has the companies as well as Moto, as the Kesban, Ruba, Jeban, as well as Moto, as Moto ZPs, as yeah, Amban, as well as Sibin, and then they release a couple, and then they contribute to the climate change. Niti, Nigan, who can go to the climate change. Big climate change. Big Faban, as well as Bana, I can go into a patch at Yogba, mitigate what I'm climate change. So that I'm a farmer's bag. I was of Elise. A premier, Kube Kona Lomba was some Kriggers win. A D. 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 Norm Jogba, Tabo your Pem Kurzwin, the Kukonis Koloka Jogidab. Thank you, Honorable Member, your time lapse. Thank you. Thank you so much. The next speaker is uh, Honorable Good Man Zita from Ortambo. You have your three minutes, honorable member. You may start. And go see some long. Diti, Nangi, Nancy Bazayo. Some long, Monte Calling, Woody, Nasses, Nanin, Leobana, is in those Saleles, Benin, Leoba, the Sunday, the Apong, who was a starting my tribe, I win or Ogany Palini, where resolutions. As soon as I lay a lend to you, Ungum Dias by Eastern Cape has a potential. Agriculture. as our requirements, funding For an example, if you can go and check. I requirements is about to be low by. Uzo bonba is taking a local like person Jones. Izo funu akomotita umto onis malo suanga pande to have a permit to yobana alobe oganye abe usebinsa landa u abantu abagu ya base person Jones abanga zui access and inga permit oganye ge requirements is pa. So inga access inga vele la londo. Sinas para mi so ACT as or tambo. Uko na E classes that are being used at Lusigisigi, former Lusigisigi College of Education. Uh, as a classes can be used to be a satellite, at least, of a school or say agriculture. Ukuze, sitati nga kweba, gulendu kini segi isa uba sitri, la gulendu siti ipondo, lini potentiali kuyo kakulu. Class no seben sa zona, kegu engagewe, the existing structures or any institutions of agriculture to use that Lusigisigi um, old um, education. Ugubagu is against the classes, is satellite, can help young people of uh, our tambo to be specific. One uh, minute left, honorable member. Mandi, Mandi, join to it, Lamzimbi, where cannabis in some in Sangu, Lamzim were cannabis, in Sangu, a wheat. Now, Tauzo, Funagan, Ugu, Ugu to seven Zan Sanga, for wooding assessing out Lalom, Lenga Cabo was his arm, Equipa, Abandaba Chabago, two Bafman, a license by a workshop, Uguze, Unga Zoban, a band, the Bazo prioritized on the Bazo Tata, Bapin de Ban, being a licensing, Yabo, or by Yagut and Sang. Lomzim be. Lomzim, Lomzim, agriculture, Lomzim, agriculture, if you stick a go, massive for Melane, 
delicious. Subana, e agriculture as a subject, a compulsor can assist. Iambe no guti ku compulsor kwa uchala pa school win. So that is a la tando lo guchala. Londi was neti se tenini. Atum to puma a siagla satellite. Abe as owens into a tandai. Unga tetu yeti or gupela. Abe anga yenzi. Thank you, honorable member. Thank you, speaker. Thank you so much, honorable members. The next speaker is honorable member Siabonga Hans from Nelson Mandela Metro. Over to honorable member. Uh, greetings, Premier, Deputy Speaker, distinguished guests, and most importantly, young people assembled here. In the Nelson Mandela Metro, we had made deliberations on the issue of land reform, but in particular for economic liberation. The Freedom Charter states that the land shall belong to those who work it. We had then understood that the issue of land is diverse as it encompasses agricultural usage, residential, and mostly overlooked is the recreational youth use for e economic gains. A case study premier, when you go to Epai, a fair view, there was a erected a FIFA side court. That FIFA side court brought the attention of EFEMs wanting to use their workers to gain exposure. Pa. You have clubs playing, you have EFEMs playing, and they pay an annual fee. That fair view court has grown from one TEF to four TEFs. So you can Im imagine the kind of revenue it generates. In our district workshop, we had made deliberations on the solutions and shortcomings of the metro. Pane metro, we have open fields that have become wastelands. ERF number, ne proposal, sinazo, premier. Ne case study, sinazo. When you look at Jobek, what Kayalami has done is that it has attracted international investment and, and tourism. We have the same ideas. We have a crisis in the mat of buildings collapsing and buildings being abandoned. Those buildings can be used for residential economical gains through social housing and other programs. Lastly, we have an issue of school buildings as a consequence of the school regional, regional, rationalization program being abandoned. We had advised that those schools can be partnered with NYDA and public works, whereby Umdu Taikobo Fumani Grant, Sim Tibani Sane School Buildings, whereby I could build your studios, whereby I could build your studios for Abafunuwenzi photography, as well as taking those who are in the automotive sector through e body works, Bavule, e body shop, Kwezas Golo, as part of e economical hubs. This was the, de the deliberations of the metro. Thank you, young people. Thank you very much, uh, honorable member. The next speaker is honorable Pumelela Atela from Nelson Mandela Metro. Three minutes. You may start, honorable member. Greetings to the house at large. Uh, for the purposes of time, I will observe all protocols. Before I begin, I would like to take this opportunity, Premier, under your leadership, I personally am a beneficiary of the Office of the Premier funding my final year of studies. So thank you for that. I stand here as a proud graduate. Thank you. Um, so as the Metro, we have spoken and deliberated on the issue of agriculture. We are at a disadvantage compared to other regions. We don't have land. We are a very urban area. So you can't go to the metro of Nelson Mandela and speak on agriculture. The land is already occupied by white people. We cannot shy away from the fact that the legacy of apartheid still lives on in our metro. Therefore, our people are struggling. So we start with the issue of access to land before we can speak on agriculture. We first need land to work on. We cannot encourage young people of the Nelson Mandela Metro on agriculture when they don't see it in their daily life. There are school feeding programs that are continuous in the Metro, but the fruits and the vegetables are still bought outside of schools where there are spaces where they can plant and 
get their own fruits and vegetables. But that is not taken into account because all that matters is ticking boxes and KPIs being met. But we are not focusing on the core purpose of what a school system is supposed to do. So as the Metro, we have also sh shone a light on the issue of secondary farming. If you go to Sunday's River Municipality, which is right next to our metro, you will find that there are oranges being planted from the beginning to the end. But the works and the, and the, the rewards are all reaped by companies that were formed way before we were even born. The beneficiaries of those lands... One minute left, and I remember. The beneficiaries of those lands are still people who are benefiting from the system of apartheid. We are young people, and you, your generation has said the struggle continues, but you fail to recognize our struggle, which is an issue that young people are facing today, and you call us disorganized, you call us radical, yet in your time, when you were being radical, you thought you were being progressive. Share the same inputs. Share the same inputs. You speak of inclusive economic development, but all we ask for is a seat at the table. We can't have youth parliaments, and then when it's actual decision-making, we don't have youth. You need young people at the table. We are equipped. We are graduates. We are scholars. We are well-equipped and well-versed in how to govern a nation. Give us a chance. Thank you, Thank honored you. member. Thank you, honored member. The next speaker, the next speaker is from Alfred Zong, District Municipality, Civic Skafana, Honorable Civic Skafana. Take the podium. Mandbule Lengel Tuba, Lisbuli Se Lengel Iti, all protocol observed. Tivele Ndige Nem Kholwe Ni Nakbasa Sabangati Stati Ndwe Nye, Welta Nelo Le Agriculture. Si kela pa yezun kosini, zisi pe umtaba. Ona rabo tembega uba uba na kanya inda ba yewa ati tina si totla ngogo villages. Indwe ti as hectares, masbeko na pagu villages. Zinko osisi ni kumtaba si lulucha. Also ne education system le inga sabantu banga kulise lwa ekteni ni ba yeskole no kopat ba kulise bebo pingo mo besi anga kona. Now omnye unesa kono nje. Naturally, so Kagula. Eh, but I will spend a twelve years as Kolwe. Kandi Febe, Oya Umbona, a way in Gomo, a way Kusha, Yon and the Bezayas, lay a benefit from Yon. The education system has Tapazel. All right, members. And then Gango Guna, Upper Gango, Gunifuna Gango, but see united because Um Kulube, to be chatting Goma, to Bansa no Omni, to Bansa no Chol, to Bansa no Mang, no Kang Eva, no Ban Ban. Bem Kebayo Lima, Amasi, now if I sit down, I need Tina Lucha. As a Zuki Pula Lom Talo, Usamashon Benuet. And then Gangoguna Sikola Selis Zendova Gangoguna Strong, it was the Snaz or Tina Pay Alfred in the Sati, Eon and the Snai, Umtuns and Gook, a canopies, Ibanda Ganilege, Honorable Appa in Sango. Now, Okwaz Ugus Zisela Ipil, Usiti Abanigas Benzang, Unga Kangus consult your guard. Now, we feel that the consultation was. Not done enough because since I was tata up 25,000 of the license and good times what must limit such as E4 with cannabis of which can go one massing our limb, Ushagata massing our limb, Usnanga massing our limb, mass limo cheese of which is in it is in a gang of ways. Eating and go go, that is our limo cheese, so limo pass so light early. And then what about one minute on my chamber and all the honorable members? May if I, you if you check, may you kindly wait. Uh, take your seat, honourable member. Take your seat, honourable members. I kindly request to afford the speaker so that we don't disturb in the middle of the debate. Proceed, honourable member. Man, will the speaker? Eh, the time is up. Now, as far as we are going to be, as cigarettes, these are not a kind of party. The Pacific, the Yes, the Sahawi, and other stuff. Now, my Jaja, our Manya Mazuela. But we are living on a Lama Jaja natural, so I miss DA, Indoba Wana, Swakube. Now, we are going to go about four to seven penelope, which is in the Swakamanya Mazu, Belimala, Yungoba, Shiel, Tom Cool. 
ye ye si into lena now siyacela ke ngokuna honorable premier that the infrastructure siye bona indeed e province is a is a construction site now siyacela ke ngokuna mhlambi kube khona e toll gates e toll gates they will help the province to generate e revenue so that is in value e bridge e bridge is our signature is because ona mhlabu tyabileyo usexa kwa mizinhlava nemizimvubu sinemizinhlava nemizimvubu bhaya asikwazi ukutsala manje kwezi thank you honorable member thank you thank you the next speaker is honorable fundiswa kondile from alfranzo district the time start honorable member Thank you very much, Honorable Speaker, uh, Honorable Premier, um, and Mandati, all protocol observed. Um, and this is Bamte. And this is our coach on Jacobana. Kuko Indo Eti, economic freedom now, not later. How do we then taper into that? Kapantle, any kekwen magis nazo? Land reform and agricultural revolution. Kungasna is a cool to turn around. Leng like a situation in Ayo. Sinning like the unemployment rate that is very high. Education system that is failing us. Oko Oko. Gengweni ye underdeveloped infrastructures. More especially it in a Sukema Pandlin. Uh, <clears throat> it's all in here to get as it is as a person and I as young people about our friends or is that we must encourage Abanda Bacha to be part of the entrepreneurs sense the education it be fashionable because a young and is also later to transform and <clears throat> to transform the police and be fashionable. So that is okay. As young people see us and oba see our wazi ukupulisa as in the suka kuzo the same pandlin. Quiz skills development. Si take as a bandaba chabasa our friends. My case shift a focus from as is in those in asuna design and at Tina Band to see si puma was in the nom slaba. Kakulugas. Satike. Um Makushin to focus, se focus go agriculture. Of course, there's a Tibet College as a Wakon in Tabangol. Agriculture in a Tibet College by So see Tikang. If focus my shift we horticulture as part of his girls as a Wensi Wapaya. Nagui programs Zika E P W P because who MEC have a upu mil. Masi kunsa ki zindoba. U agriculture, u environmental affairs, we are not sana na tipa. Sina wana matlata manins. We can even produce each charcoal. Sina zoke, inda wezi zinza yopa. Kula mantla wase matatiela. There's a word there. Abando bachi aba produce each charcoal. Kule kula miti. Kutwa its alien trees. So si akwe lake. Indoba magunga tiswane nati. We, <coughs> in terms of investing, where's our programs in Jayan? Thank you, yes, Honorable Amanda Member. Bajibos. Thank you. <laughs> the next speaker is Honorable Wanga Zlali from Amatole District. Mandis Bulisele, we honorables, Umpati Sore Pondo, Mr. Honorable Mabuyane, Ika Mangu Wanga Zlali from Amatole. Um, it is very clear and sent by Amatole that uh, we are all saying we want land. Uh, we want land to occupy. So I'm saying that let's occupy land as the youth. Land must be given to us and we must be land owners. It's clear. Now, Lomshaba Fanele seems to be for various sectors and various reasons. Umshaba is agriculture tourism and mining upper eastern cape r63 is underway no one is participating pana ku minesha ilike apa ku youth ilike crushers and quarries are being owned by the other people 
not a youth. We don't know of that industry. Tina Singa Bandabacha, Iquari, and Mining Stone. Uh, for reasons of tourism, we are a very beautiful province. We are not utilizing land for adventure tourism. The attraction is no Puma up or Zingu Mangaliso, Kuze, Imali, Ye foreigners, a pondering. That will absorb Abandu Abacha to the sector as one of the sector, a contributor to the GDP. Uh, let's also go to that, visit tourism uh, offices and check as a space as Yana Bandabacha. As Usaik e Amatole, uh, we visited Unkumkani Vulikaya Stau. Umshaba is available, Banbagut. Umshaba Utinga Sifandwe, Simonitari Shwe, and we must get a mentorship. Graduates there too should be on board. As graduates there too, finally, since Fagepana, we integrated uh, learning and uh, what's this? Internships, yes. Practical work besides Lendoya Seklasini. One minute left, left, don't remember. Oh, Premier has stated that Quenswin Lela, Dr. Angela, I can look sense of local bags of water, I see Vileba as in the sudden economy, as in no as strategizer to lay industrial development. The Funaya Pondwin. We want the factories to be open. Who is it? DC should play a role, like a villain as a factories. It Timbaza. Butterworth, Whitley C, Fort Jackson. Those factories should be open as a factory as as a cash or makul bet kufu kwekse nu beli kubu shakosa stratu yem bangelwen. Now London leyo I send zeg. We want factories to be open. Uh, we must occupy the Thank you, honorable member. Monitored. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. You so much. The next speaker we request the uh, honorable Siabula Lam Shweshwe from Amatole District. Uh, thank you very much, Honorable Speaker. Um, Honorable Speaker, Honorable uh, Premier, Oscar the Delicious Mabuyan, um, Ingo Sizi Sizo Sakut, Umlisela Nomtinjana Olapana Mlanje, Abandona Beskolo in particular, Aba Tatina Kreba, Njengo Lucha, Glingingi, Yase and in the Eastern Cape in particular. And as out Kaba Kaba and Ji, the Suk and Dinga Changet Kashalako, Honorable Speaker. Mandinge, Geliti, Honorable Premier, we have a challenge in the Amatole. In particular, Glamas Pala was in Moshua. We have been denied access. Uh, we are being denied access uh, to the land that we wish to utilize uh, uh, for pineapple production. The access case is in our journey. See, see, see. Asinandela, Honorable Premier, and all relevant stakeholders, Ezia, Oganye Iploho, Ezia Glamishab. We, Iamatole, has got high potential of pineapple produce. Currently, in Jemban Teta, Paglawatin, Kuya, what 12 pine mushua. I think we, Sifuni Dogbas, Bene Farmer, Ezi 10, Ezi Onwa, Ngabando Bamyam, Abangaba Veli, Sibama Pine, Ntonje, Kengo, Indus Ngenayopa. Ngaba process, okanye ngaba kont balama pine, then doctor agro processing. Kulapo gengo tina banda ba chasi funungi na kona. Singe tiseke office of the premier September. Ndin di touch and jeka ngingi kwindo ye ye oceans economy. Si inda uye tu inongo eme pa ya amatole. I challenge ge sna yo yokala indo yoko kuba kuapa is colonizetu. We do not have a learning area or a subject which covers Okanye as educator. Ngobunwane, Ngobunwane, Maselwane. Sizogutike, Sihlabi Kwelo, Silulucha La Paima Tole. Sisit, Kanis Patele is subject as I've introduced as early as primary school, is exposed, is fully known. Ngohwebo, Olukoyo, Elwane. Galoma Zoma Fuchaneke, Siabule, Langel Tuba, Ngoskakul. Thank you, Honorable Member. We request the speaker, Honorable Speaker, Sinokolo Farmer from BCM. Then the last speaker from BCM on the subject on the matter, it's going to be 
Honorable Vuyotoloko, the chief whip. Uh, uh, Proceed, honorable member. We request the Karali to remain silent. Thank you. Greetings, uh, honorable speaker, honorable premier, young people, uh, distinguished guests, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Honorable speaker, allow me to just read uh, honorable Sihlam. Uh, I was here, colleagues, uh, 2011. I was inspired by that uh, deputy chief whip when we were young. He was the one who inspired us. We were there. Watch that. Nothing any mean is a balap. So I'm I'm honored to be here from those utterance from deputy speaker. The best out to get a bundle of a honorable speaker, Madivan. You fall and fall. Mandicheke, honorable members, proceed. Mandiche ingoko koke honorable speaker and second daughter in Tingba in Kul. Tingas Libelanga ke in Kosis as well ago it, if first defenders of the land. Now, but Tilake colleagues, but Kange, the Tetelandao iti, we want land without compensation. In order for us to access land, in order for us to as young people. Uchike, honorable member from Echokabi, NYTA, we are born in Permet, but in Funukuti, not as As pa left it one minute, honorable member. There is an issue, as if we now to say, Lum Kim whip your class, we are bad. It was everything, Sinayo, but it's a booze noba, una certificate sent with Hile, whereas only me. Why are we not given money by the government? Why the local economic development anga sneaky mali silime? Because in a word level, we'll find out in a bandaba bini, a batandu lima, a bandaba ten, the word, a bandaba acha. Bonga by nyabanda by eight, a bana interest limit, but with a fumana two. But why unga sneaky mali? Give us money, and even if you sneaky limali. Order, honorable members. And, and if you. And if NYTA, local economic development, is sneaky limali. Thank you, Honorable oh. Member. The time is finished. Thank you so much. Let's allow the next speaker. It's Honorable Vuyoto Loku. Order, members, in the interest of time. Uh, thank you, Chair. Uh, thank you, speaker. Let's allow you to proceed, uh, Honorable, Honorable speaker, Member. Honorable Premier, in courses of Tonyama, and the house at large. Uh, dialectical materialistic conditions on the ground teaches us that the issue of agriculture emanates from the curriculum of the education system that needs to be reintegrated to explicitly link tangentially in relation to the needs of our economy. Young people need not to be told to a rhetoric of cultivating small plots in their backyards of land for vegetables. That is, that is a thing of survival but rather we strengthen our education system. Introduce agriculture in almost all rural towns, in institutions in all rural towns of the province, particularly on the focusing on focus study areas of cannabis. Let's study on the cannabis. I'm some be honorable members as he got this When we're talking about cannabis, we're talking about reintegrating traditional medicine to the Department of Health create uh, study areas about cannabis, build colleges that are going to study healthy cannabis. So that's the economy. 
especially from the eastern part of the Mpondo land. In doing so, we'll be doing justice as a remedial approach uh, to the pertinent question of the land, so as to prepare the youth of the province for the inevitable eminent revolution of land expropriation without compensation. Uh, government must be able to own the land, uh, which is the main, it's one of the main means of production, boosting our economy. Umshambike must pin the CRs in the a former president, Umbeki, a city was defined by the vegetation. I bought a cloak. Because singa bandwa banga mangu ni si pilangas jalo si pilangas luanyan. Kodwa ngoku imi sabi biela belungu benzi pemi te bandwa uzingela baki imi imi ti yoku zinyanga. Dibu ye one minute left, honourable member. The challenges and and the procedural processes accessing the land when applying must not be made impossible. Kufuman Sekbasiamba from office to office, awufuman umslaba, ngoso uyilu apply umslaba. Education system must be single coordinated from basic education, ukuya ku higher education, and abandu mabakai in terms of subject that they choose, so that baba qualify when they enter institutions of higher learning. As I'm lending, lastly, Descent, uh, it is paramount, as I descend, it is paramount importance that the government must uh, refrain and do away Kulendo, Yale attendance, Yoba Abandu, with department, Yaku, with Fnega Kasha Abandu by eight, Yakasha Abandu by six. Ababa be in manufacturing internships near Nunyak, which is watching internships, Aba Play, Swabandu, in the ends while for internships. Thank you, Honorable Member. Permanently. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, uh, honorable members. This is the end of the second order. We are heading to the third one before the last one. Before I go there, uh, allow me then, honorable members, to acknowledge the presence of Ms. Def S.A., who is there in the public garage. If possible, we can allow her to stand so that we, in salutation. Thank you very much. We are very proud of, your, of you and the work that you are doing. Without further ado, let, uh, honorable members, let me take this opportunity and thank all the honorable members for their participation on this matter. I will now I will request the Secretary to Legislature, Mr. Kamani Sniff, to read the third subject matter for discussion. Over to you, Secretary. Izimo Zentalo, Ezi Jongene, Nabando Abacha. Ego Pagani Swin, no good seconds, or Gom Shab. And it reads the third po point of discussion is social problems facing the youth and innovative solutions. Thank you, Speaker. Thank you very, uh, thank thank you very much, Honorable Members. We'll request the Honorable Mkao Mati from Sarah Patman. You have five minutes, Honorable Member. It's only you from that. Uh, District. Greetings to the Honorable Speaker, Honorable Premier, Honorable Members. My name is Ngao Mati from Sara Batman District. Um, during our youth workshop at Sara Batman District, we identified various social problems that face the youth and these social problems can be attributed to various factors such as unemployment, the quality. Uh, yeah, yeah, your mic cannot remember. The quality of basic Thank education you. and the lack of youth programs. Education provides one with the necessary skills and knowledge to participate in the different dimensions in the South African economy. South Africa is currently facing structural unemployment 
Uh, structural unemployment arises when the necessary skills possessed by job seekers does not align with the skills demanded by employers. There's a significant skills mismatch in the labor market, which has led to the high unemployment rate. Young people must advocate for vocational learning and must ensure that TVET colleges are socially acceptable. Young people must be at the forefront of addressing the disparities within the education system in the country. Addressing these disparities requires a multifaceted approach involving policy changes, improved teaching training, equitable resource allocation, and community engagement. There must be a unified system between basic education and private education. The parallel education system wide, widens the gap of inequality in the country, as only the privileged have an opportunity to attain quality education. Um, we argued in the district workshop that what is it so private about education? Um, as the Sarah Apartment District, we are calling for an NHI of the education system. Early childhood development must be prioritized. Strides have been taken by government to address challenges in early childhood development. However, they still remain very under-resourced. Practitioners of early childhood development should be capacitated to assist young children in reaching their full potential as the foundation for a successful future starts within early childhood. Municipalities must make use of unoccupied and vandalized municipal property that can aid to youth development programs. Repurposing these properties can result to positive solutions for the social issues that young people face. There must be a revitalization of sport programs in local communities, as this will assist in fighting the scourge of substance abuse. There should be accessible learning resources for learners with disabilities, promoting equal access to education for learners with both visible and non-visible disabilities requires a multifaceted approach that will address various aspects of accessibility and inclusion and equality of learners with visible and non-visible disabilities. Young people must be involved in the decision-making processes. They have a right to be involved in the decision-making processes that affect their lives. However, as young people, we cannot be part of the decision-making processes if we do not play our role as active citizens. Public participation is important as it emphasizes the significance of active and effective citizenry. Being an active citizen is simple as attending a community meeting, reporting a crime, and registering to vote. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, honored member. The next speaker, the next speaker from Joka Bim Tandazon Chinga. Honorable Tandazon Chinga. Where are you, honorable member? Go that side, honorable member, thank you. The next speaker will be Sandy Swastofile from Krisani Piredi. After that is going to be Honorable Kokelwa Mkuyana in that order, honorable members. Uh, thank you very much, honorable speaker. Uh, Premier. Uh, Honorable members, dinner request in the evening, upper honorable speaker, Jingum to Okelu Tandas, Ikamalam Gum Tandas on Jinga from Jokabi, the city I Ukuba Mandi, Kabazalwa, Nebisilim Kelomi, Unje. Only as in David is Garun, who go to me will be win. Eh, Lomas into a tetis or ba, Kukalega teta or primi, Gogo zetina, Jengo Kelizo Lucha, Londo ite to goti, Lendo ite to goti, we are young, Lendo Sabesi teta upper, in a be futile exercise. 
engosi u account the honorable speaker u kala proceed honorable member i've been counting honorable speaker the late utata umandela he once said i quote our youth are the most important national asset that we have it is it is for that reason we should give them the opportunity to advance but looking at ikasha ngoke siphila kulo ayithethi ngale code kadal kumadiba aphelele khona ngava kaphlumu talking about this social problem that we are facing currently prisons are full of young people ebengathethi ngalo nto that mande as it ukabi sibone the social problems that we are facing at ukabi in particular drug and substance abuse gender based violence crime hiv and aids lastly i think we must declare that as a pandemic the unemployment eh uh, honorable speaker sabe asithethi kahle xa singazi nazi solutions kuzo zonke izinto as jo gabi we are requesting a rehabilitation center for pai jo gabi also we are asking for e facilities such as uh, e art centers your sport facilities to keep lucha libe busy uh, understanding this thing of education siyacela nakuyo this curriculum mayibe nakukuchinjwa because it doesn't talk na lento siyifunana you can go to basic education now ufike pha akufundwa ngale substance abuse sithetha ngayo abantwana bayazi akufundwa ngale gender based violence sithetha ngayo abantwana bayazi kuthwa ligotywa liselingakanani ngosi eh xa sisihla sizijonga ezi zinto zonke 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 zibethwa ile pandemic which is unemployment we then for as jokabi requesting that let us empower the youth to solve this problem of unemployment one minute left not remember your oh, speaker uh, we, sh we should we, sh we should not recognize the youth as a consumers but also a producers uh, we also saw that there is a mismatch between the availability of jobs and skills that possess in south africa which is a barrier to social or economic development uh, we saw the shortage of critical skills that we need to acquire hence we are saying ba ejo ugqabi khani khani sincede nisenzele more technical schools so that we can acquire those skills to say early so that is move nazo kuye laphambi eh honorable speaker as jo ugqabi we saw the importance of youth empowerment thank you honorable member social skills thank you honorable member thanks the next speaker is honorable sandy swa stofile from krisani district sandy swa or oh, sandy sewe yes sorry honorable member proceed engosi engosi honorable speaker bendi seza kulungisa ndithi andingo sandy swa but ndingo sandy sewe eh u the previous eh president u tatu msholozi wakhe wathi ikwithoni yegama lento ingquza so <laughs> na proceed honorable okay. member na mke na na mke ndingusandisiwe stofile honorable speaker please ndikubulise ngokukhethekileyo 
umlekazi Oscar Mabuyani, the Honorable Premier, Abandwana Bekazi, eh, I members Zolucha, eh, Nen Dwendwe Zetu Ketek Leo. Eh, Honorable Speaker, eh, we cannot address the problem, the social problem without first touching Gwindo a moral decay. Because in our community, Ngoku, the spirit of Ubuntu is no longer with Abantu. Okay, I can't take him from here quite or quite a Mr. Mdu, Masile Lawati, Koko Ne Koko Leaz Gomel. Ngoku is king at Nguzmele. Ako sekwen sebenzi so anu beke kwa tetwa ke apange unity abandwa bacha. Because if you are to solve a problem, abandwa bacha, funeka abandwa bacha batibani. And you can't address the problem ye yabandwa bacha because especially in the unemployment because in the unemployment we should ask ourselves that our education system I additional ku lendo in unemployment because yes kolweni si ofunde sikolweni but endo sizifunda ingaba ziyasincedisa na into ba sifuma nimisebenzi okanye sicreate imisebenzi so ndine into mna ethi our education system is failing us. So we should start there. And the education system here to funeka kube kwindo yokubana kwazi ndoba e regions gay regions is your look and gazing gozaz. Now even when you are solving these problems, eh, honorable premier, you should know that Akuzu Velequenzo e blanket approach ye solutions because e regions ne regions is your look at. Um zege lokuko apa e my colleagues that are saying, they have indoye cannabis, which is in Zang. Now, these solutions should be based on land in Zang. Because land in Zang is equal to the land in Zang. Then, it is a from primary school. Another colleague here, Utetenge, is in a technical school. One minute it, left, don't remember. It's a surprise that to Zafika Eskolweni, then Utaufika Eskolweni, Unga Kwazi, Ndoko Kubana, Uzene Solutions. Okay, what to Mr. Nicholas, I tell you that young, their quote, open quote, young people, I happen to believe that um, are the world's most precious natural resources. Close quote. Now, your precious resource, we are in a kekela, ukwazi, Ndoko Kubana, we maintain. Therefore, Tinasi Yikrisan, we are saying uh, the education system here to itingu revisit. We are saying um, our education system needs an agent thorough revision because it is not working for the future of this province and for this country. Therefore, if Kunga Lungi Salando, then Zonga Zinis, Zinga Amba Zilung Sek. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Thank you, Honorable Member. The next speaker is Honorable Tokelwa Kuyan from Krishani District. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. My name is Tokelwa Mkuyana from Krishani District. Um, in the Krishani District, we, we found out that the social problems the youth are facing is unemployment, um, substance abuse, and GBV and femicide, and then um, high crime rate. Unemployment is a very strong contributor because young people have nothing to do. It then results to the youth to be corrupted and, and abusing drugs and abusing alcohol. In the Krizani region, the unemployment rate it is it's estimated 70%. Substance abuse is a huge factor because the youth uses um, the youth uses drugs and the use of drugs and alcohol results in crime rate because they end up doing housebreakings, rapes and killing. It, it, it then results in high rates of GBV and femicide. In part of the solutions, I want to thank you, Honorable Premier, for the high mass lights in Ezingulweni village in Emalashleni. I think the government I think the government must buy more cars for the police services because in the rurals we have a problem of, sh of shortage of cars in the, police, in the police services. Police raids must come back following tips of the people selling drugs and alcohol illegally. 
um, police services must work hand in hand with CPFs to transform the community to be better. And the, and the drug lords must be arrested. Government must create jobs by bringing back factories that these young people will work in. We have unused and damaged factories in Whittlesea, in Enoch Mkijima Krizani. If those factories can be used again to manufacture certain products and in Kundastria too, One minute left, I remember. we believe a lot can change and skill centers to be erected so that these young people can be skilled. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Thank you so much. The next uh, speaker from Ortambo District, Abuyele Lusaseni, oral member Abuyele Lusaseni. Mandibuli is a Mshalanga Pambili, and it is protocol observed. See Ortambo identifying with that in terms of social problems that are challenging Abandabaj. One, he poverty, two, he unemployment, three, he substance and drug abuse. These are problems as suge makaya. These problems ebe funders is addressa ekaya. Ubanga be kaya unegad ulimile. Igad umzun umzun egad be funda si agwazu addressa e problem enogwenza nogulam which is poverty. Now see this is our time. One household, one garden. In trying to mitigate lendo iti sine poverty esi chongene na ayo. Sise gundwe yesbi ini. Before sise guyo. Jeng ba si teta pa uti poverty esi na ayo. Siti tla si chongi sten kei. Siti is a rural province. Ta yi rural province. It's where we practice agriculture. Siti ke ngoku wong umfundi. Ukale zanzu yo krina ku grade 12. Maibye kumbal zari agriculture. So that sizo guazu ukawle lana le problem esi na ayo which is poverty. See the window SB in city unemployment. City class EB is alone city unemployment because in a system 80, also are from grade 1 up to grade 12. Ufunege acquires a skill that I'm your funder, Ufundele, and Ufunu Funda, we have a seat. I'm going to see you are about talent. Sine statistics, a so new guy, year in, year out, but we are seen as his goal as it is a colossal and do not win talent. Now, city see our tambo. E district ne district. Maybe ne skolo. Oganye skolo e zimbi ni ubu nunani. E skolo zimbi ni. Zaza ukwala sela le nduile nwenza ne talent. Sinabanda ba chula ayo. It is very hard for one person osu gamisha umbu mzegelo. Epizani. Uba drive to a level that afigele legu international level. Because ageko equipped in terms of uba ukwala selo e talente le yake isi mtulwe ini. So, sinalom popo osho ke uti siyak ela, iti strik ne iti strik. Maibe nezu kolo ezi mbi nubu nginane, ezi address indo nongwe nza ne talent. Le talent must not only focus on sport, must also focus in arts development, must also focus in music development. So that sisa kwa zukti ukawle lana na le indo nongwe nza ne unemployment. That is second left. Sisa kwa yukkebela, enko se, enko se, somlom. Sisa kwa yukkebela yi problem esna yi. Problem esna yi, yi drug and substance abuse. Si yi vimba njani ndo yi drug and substance abuse. Uba wa adresa yi ndo yi poverty, wa adresa yi ndo yi unemployment. Automatically. So unu kandu vuli ngu ngu loko adresa yi ndo yi substance abuse. Si yi tike ngu si or tambo. Si kasa kukwa nesi state yi state ngu omya. Thank you, honorable member. Thank you. Thank you. Let's, uh, the next speaker is uh, Honorable Azolam Zendaba from Ortambo. The oh. time starts, Honorable Member. Thanks, uh, Honorable Premier, uh, Mr. Mabuyane, and Honorable Deputy Speaker, Mr. Koboshian. Uh, see, I identify these three problems mostly. It's a substance abuse, drugs abuse, Nalentino uh, ones, and gender-based violence mostly. Uh, our people, uh, Premier, are very angry. That's another thing. And at the center of that, it's triple challenges, which is unemployment, poverty, and crime. So what do we do in trying to resolve that? The first point of departure is on addressing radically the question of land. Redistribute land to the proportional majority of the people of this province in particular, and this country. In that way, you, have also, you will have a positive 
multiplier effect on other challenges, which is inequality and poverty. We have already addressed them. Improve mostly on small-scale farms. Make sure at least 50% of the goods that are being supplied into schools and hospitals comes from SMMEs. In that way or another, we are boosting SMMEs to be able to compete nationally and globally and to contribute positively in the gross domestic product and the national fiscals of this country. Two, young people generally are still uh, negatively reintegrated in the global capital accumulation. And for us to get a solution around that, we need land back to its rightful owners mostly. Land for productivity and social use, not land that is going to be used by few privileged elites for game reserves and other unproductive things. So how do we move in making sure we get a solution into that? As young people across the province, we have firstly to start engaging our local but municipalities to remember. give us at least unused land for production and social use. And then we'll be able to be capacitated enough to start engaging on the question of land on a national level. At least we must start it from the scratch. Again, the solutions that we need also is to re-industrialize or industrialize the province. Bring back effectries. A southern wood, Mtata, see I tell you about factories. So we need that again. Again, each local municipality must have at least two and more functioning factories. In that way or another, we'll be boosting the economy. And we'll be like China's doctors. We have said that in China, uh, the Thank contribution you, of member. the SMMEs. Thank you, Honorable the Member. The time is finished. Oh, oh, okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, Your time is finished. Honorable member. Thank you. Right, uh, the next speaker, honorable members, it's Atenko Nyiki from Nelson Mandela Metro. It's three minutes. Your time start, honorable member. There's uh, Bulsela, honorable premier, uh, speaker. Uh, in the Nelson Mandela Bay, Nelson Mandela Bay is a murder capital of all metros in South Africa, with a reported 71 murders per 100,000. Nelson Mandela Bay unemployment rate is at 32% in the first quarter of 2023. Our main economic sectors are manufacturing services, uh, community services, finance, trade, and transport. The multi-billion dollar companies we have in the Nelson Mandela Bay does not reflect in our communities. Majority of young people in the Nelson Mandela Bay are out of the system, out of school, unemployed. We have teenagers that are working as full-time assassins. Others have no choice but to turn on drugs, unprotected sex, and alcohol. We have a high rate of dropouts in high school. We need to look into that as young people. How do we fix that? We need to bring back the culture of mass career exhibitions so that students can have direction and information about different careers. The exhibitions will help the learners to have a purpose. We need a generation of ambitious young people. We need to also to preach global citizenship so that they are able to dream uh, beyond the limits. We should also focus on sports clinics in primary schools and high schools, and also government should form partnership with sports federations in our communities. What do we do with youth that is out of the system? We have different type of youth, so we need more practical solutions that, we, that will help young people. We have youth that wants internship, learnership, Government must work together with South African Youth Council to mobilize private sector to come to the party. We have young people that have passed grade 12 uh, who are hungry for school. One minute left. SAIC and municipalities should form strong partnership with NSFAS universities, TVET colleges to bring mass NSFAS university, TVET application to our communities. 
We should push entrepreneurship as a main focus for young people. We should bring NYTA to train our people, to fund our people. We should also have NYTA offices in our township, Kwazakele, Ewoma, Etinaka. I have to spend 100 rands to go to NYTA as a return. I have to go to see the ECDC, Base Cape Road, Bonge. We have nothing in our locations, but the problems is in the locations. We need to embark on a journey uh, to strengthen partnership with officials of government because they are lacking. Young people, they want opportunities. We need to have information centers in our townships. Every ward must have an information center. If we have a career, if we have an internship, if we have a Thank you, those members. things must be easy accessible. Thank you. Thank you. The next speaker is Honorable Sinon Jongo. Snapongo Kwacho from uh, Nelson Mandela Metro. Your time starts, Honorable Member. Correction, Speaker Ngo Snapongo Kwacho. Greetings to the Honorable Premier, the Speaker, all protocol observed. Uh, still on engaging on social problems and facing the youth innovation and solutions. Um, it is to harness all to respond to the crisis addressing the structural drivers and young women and men initiatives. Enforce and implement ado and adopt laws and youth policies. Sine problem ke apa yokubana i process your adopter as policies, dear the delicious, they take a while to be signed off. Beste like a premier process yes policies to be adopted also in those policies sia safman second on okbana abantu abane disability abacha abafakwanga besite like a ndokbana ba involve kabantu bitu we need to provide inclusive and in developmental centered access accessibility quality services. Sine issue ke NMB and Nelson Mandela Metro, whereby our government system has only provided one rehab, which is situated in New Brighton, where it cannot um, capacitate both males and females at the same time. In like in Gulges Nayabai, the drugs, and again, Ogosia Dinga, in Donokbana, Iki Jong, well, on Doleba. Sifumane ezinye i rehabs. Enhance strategic, institutional, and resources coherence in terms of pillar six. To elevate accountability at all levels of management, resources left. and utilization, and funding processes. And deepening or strengthening understanding and knowledge. Thank you so much, uh, oral member. The next speaker is from Alfredo, a uh, district uh, Pindi Lagosa. The time starts, oral member. I come from Pindi Lagosa, from Alfredo. Um, all protocol reserved to the room at large. The Zotieta with social problems facing the youth and innovative solutions. Uh, now, these are the discussions that we have or we had as the old friends. We have an issue here, unemployment. Uh, personally, I'm a firm believer of that we can all be employed. There are some that have to have businesses, skills, so that we can help the government and other entities to help with the issue of unemployment. And also with the educational, with the education system, uh, our friends who have a group of young people that we help uh, young kids who are still in school with homeworks, and other uh, skills 
Because initially, as other honourable members that have uh, uh, commented before me, that we're supposed to start Abandwana at a very young age while they're still in school to learn or to grow utando le skill so that they could empower themselves and also be able to go in the future. Uh, on the issue of yeah, substance abuse, uh, we have also a group of young people, CPF and other NPOs around. Uh, we have, on that group of young people, we have started uh, uh, a group whereby uh, each and every day or every second day of the week, we go around looking for Ababandu Esbabiz and Jingamapara, Abamoshayo. But now the issue is, as the, on EE government, we have an issue here, here transport. So most of the time, but now when you do happen to call a police station, you'd find out that there's no transport. So now, long delay, Pella, Singa, Bonum, Sabins, Wit, Bassins, and Dona. And also, 30 seconds, and I remember. And also, as our friends on gender equality, can we please, as young females, to be acknowledged when it comes to EEE departments or positions? And then on the solution, I am proud to say that I was part of a delegation that went to the annual BRIC summit, Osuga A. Alfonso. So I've learned so much and I've made so many contacts that can help us to solve some of the problems that we have and also with the government. Um, thank you, Honorable Member. Thank you. The time is finished. We're now calling upon Honorable Member from Alfonso, Lishle Kalo. Ngosi Somlom, Manditate El Tuban, Diti Inganga, Nancy Bazar, Kenya Class, Dibulisile Honorable Premier Nenko Kelly Zimfil. But uh, just in summary of what uh, we, have, we have discussed or we have agreed upon as Alfred Inzo, uh, is that uh, it is the only one issue that is the mother of all social issues that are facing young people is unemployment and we are calling for it to be declared as the pandemic or as a disaster same applies with covid wherein the country went out to imf and needed in fact borrowed 500 billion so why can't we go out at this moment with young people suffering with unemployment uh, young people graduated but still they are not working so we are calling upon uh, 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 our government to, to say, in fact, to give, uh, to, to, to give more attention to the issue of uh, uh, unemployment. Golo puto, ogo kana si afumela na that a department of education ube kuba i program ya rationalization of his goal, and then there are schools that are like white elephants there. So we're saying to boost the economy and create more jobs, take young people who are unemployed, even those with skills, either digital related opportunities. Once again, we're saying there are so many progressive interventions interventions that have been uh, 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 adopted by Ukhul Mindewet, Ungazmana, Ipolisis, Ngapa, GS, Zinenza. You need no more at this moment, but you need to implement these One ones. One minute that left, are, remember? Yes. Uh, you need to implement as the corner and put more funds where there's a corner so that at least you are going to see a change. But because of it, maybe we may not get on uh, like everything, but uh, go back and invest in, 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 like in sport. Young people have got talents. Also, we're saying uh, fill all vacancies. The operation fill all vacancies because that is the reality. But as I learned, uh, speaker, on bed, uh, I want to learn uh, the only solution 
for us as young people is to have a minister of sport so that is a monetary as as interventions of government as in IOTS. Can you please take that with Honorable Premier? Thank you. Is so it much, pre Member. President? Let yeah, me see back on that. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. The next speaker is Honorable Imange Chainyon from Amatole District. Each one, each one, my daughter. Honorable members, standing before you is Imange Chanyoni, a grade seven learner from Busy Bees Junior Primary School from the Amatole. From the Amatole region, hereby to share my opinion on the title Social Problems Facing the Youth and Innovative Solutions. The world doesn't expect much from you as a child growing up in the townships of Eastern Cape today. The private sector is looking at you to become the next waiters, cashiers, and shop assistants. The government is looking at you to clean the streets, lay bricks on construction, on construction sites, and if you're vocal enough, lobby on behalf of their party during election periods. No one is looking at you and seeing the next CEO, a lawyer, or a doctor. When black children do well, it is a wonder and makes news. But what is often not mentioned in these headlines is that these achievements are not only newsworthy because of the harsh circumstances the child might be from, but also because we still do not think it is possible. Hope, a feeling, a feeling of expectation and desire for a particular thing to happen. This is one thing black, black children is, is are, color, are currently lacking. How do, we ex, how do you expect me to be hopeful when I see my elders graduating from college or university and still have no jobs. People who were top students and were so focused on their studies ending up on the streets doing drugs. South Africa's un unemployment rate is in the, in the first quarter of 2023 was recorded 32.9% and is among the highest in the world. Yes, there are jobs, but there is no motivation. Another pressing issue is that of the NS first cap issue whereby students are given less amount for accommodation, which led to students ending up being accommodationless. NS first later on changed its system entirely, which led to thousands of students. One minute left, and I remember. <laughs> Proceed, and I remember in your one minute. We see our silk. We see our siblings being capable of completing university, but have suddenly lost hope and beg that the situations, the situations are solved so that to give us new hope and faith that our country can gain its dignity. We all know that after university, students get exposed to the, in the real world, a world full of fear and uncertainty. Students are, given time, give, students are not given time to gain knowledge and experience. South African children need space to showcase their skills and talents. Therefore, building a space where young people in South Africa can gain experience and be innovative would really help. The pay doesn't have to be that high, but, must, but the important part is that young people gain, a, gain, gain experience and get to be innovative. I hope my message is clear. Black, pe black people can do more than, they, than we can imagine. I hope the government is going to help us because if we do not have each other's backs, we are on our own. Thank you. Thank you very much, honorable member. The next speaker. Thank you, honorable members. Can we take our seats? Thank you so much. Thank you, honorable members. May we, uh, may we remain silent at the gallery. The session is still in progress. Let's afford the honorable member on the podium the time to debate. Then the next uh, member is Honorable Member Pumlisa Ngokwana. Uh, over to you, Honorable Member. Greetings to the Honorable Speaker, Honorable Premier of the Eastern Cape, 
Quinkosi as Koyo Paratikwetu, and to the honorable members of the parliament at large. I am Pumli Sangokwana. I am from Ama the Amatole region. I will be presenting under the thematical area social problems facing youth and innovative solutions. Facing the youth and innovative solutions. Mandicho by Ipreshikona. Social problems facing the youth include mental health issues. They include uh, social, sorry. Can you, Madam Member, please? I, uh, please, may, may, yeah, can you kindly? I request members not to convince aloud okay. while the speaker is on the floor. Okay. Can we respect the speaker as we did to others? Proceed, Honorable Member. Social problems facing the youth include mental health issues. A noticeable portion of the youth is drowning and struggles to keep their sanity. As we also see a number of young people further, community, commu, com, further committing suicide due to not knowing what to do when facing mental health issues. Another issue is the issue of alcohol, the level of alcohol, ab, alcohol abuse and substance abuse. Young people find joy in these harmful substances. If we do not if we do not give attention to these social ills, then we are allowing these social ills to consume our youth. This may sound like a repetition as we though are singing the same song, but unemployment is a pandemic. Children are born and can encouraged to uphold education, and yet today we speak of unemployed graduates. Innovative solutions to, to some of these social ills that I've mentioned and more include. Innovative solutions that involve promoting, me, promoting mental health awareness, creating vocational training programs, providing online educational resources and establishing safe spaces for open discussions. I am as well doing the awareness programs such as mental health awarenesses alcohol and drug abuse awarenesses in the rural schools of Tundani. I am doing this as I have come back from varsity and I have seen the gap that is there with the young kids, uh, with the young kids involving themselves in alcohol, with the young kids experiencing mental health issues. I am doing this as on my own and I am currently asking that I get help to open an NPO, I am still looking for four other members to open it, but it is very hard to get other four members who are dedicated as much as I am in the rural schools. Thank you, Honorable Thank Member. You. Thank you. Honorable Members, I request the two, the two last speakers to come for the first one. It's Honorable Member Banel Jozan. Then the last speaker will be Sander, Honorable Sander James, those are the last two speakers on the debate. Your time starts, Honorable Member. Honorable Speaker, Honorable Premier, Honorable Members, traditional leaders and guests, I greet you all. I am Banela Josana from the BCM. As the BCM, we agreed on the following common common social problems faced by young people and innovating solutions to address them. The first one is unemployment. Um, the innovative, innovative solutions to unemployment is entrepreneurship programs. The government should promote entrepreneurship education and the NYDA can provide more training to equip young people with the skills to start their own businesses job creation activities, encourage public-private private partnerships to create employment opportunities, specifically targeted at youth, such as internships and subsidized employment programs, digital skills development, enhance digital, enhance digital literacy and provide training in emerging technologies to increase youth employment in digital communities economy. Another issue that we face as the youth is mental health issues. One, one of the 
innovative solutions include mental health awareness campaigns. We should raise awareness about mental health issues and reduce stigma and promote health-seeking behaviors. There should be accessible counseling services. The government sh must provide funding for mental health services, such as school-based counseling and community mental health centers. Peer support networks, establish peer support groups or online communities where young people can connect, share experiences, and provide support to one another. Thank you, Honourable Member. Honourable Representative James. The time Honourable starts. Speaker, uh, Honourable Premier, uh, there is a major problem in Buffalo City Municipality, yet roof culture, whereby young people from Monday to Monday, Premier, they are drinking. That is a major problem, and each day has Ikamalayo from. Uh, Parks Tuesday to Bias Biz and the Premier Gamaka Mazo. That is a major problem, Premier. Now, how do we then deal with this issue, Premier? We need to have a proper rehabilitation and support services to provide accessible and comprehensive treatment program, counseling and support services for young people struggling with substance abuse. Uh, we need to, to develop preventing, prevention programs, implement evidence-based prevention programs in schools and communities to educate young people about the risk of substance abuse. Alternative recreation opportunity, offer constructive and en engaging recreational uh, activities such as sport, arts, and musical programs to reduce uh, the appeal of substance abuse. Also, Premier, we have a very huge problem of education and skill gap. Many young people face barriers to qualify uh, to quality education and lack of necess necessary skills for, job, for the job market. Now, there are plenty of innovative solutions to these problems. The first one is that, uh, expand access to online education, resources and platform to provide affordable, flexible, self-paced learning opportunities. Vocational training programs, Develop vocational training programs aligned with market needs to provide pra practical skills and certif certifications. Public and private sector partnership. Foster collaboration between educational institutions and industries to ensure uh, curial, curial are relevant and provide internship or apprenticeship to, to bridge the, the, skill, uh, the skill gap. Also, Premier, we have a marginalized sector of young people, which, which is the minority or, the disab the, or those with disabilities, often face social exclusion and discrimination. Now, we need to develop policies and legislation that and promote inclusivity, education, uh, equal opportunities, and non-discrimination in education, employment, and public services. Awareness and sens sensitive training conduct training programs to raise awareness and sensitive, sensitivity among school, workplace, community organizations regarding the needs and rights of marginalized youth. Youth empowerment programs. Uh, we need to have leadership uh, development, mentorship, advocacy training to amplify their voice and promote social change. In addressing these uh, social problems, it is essential to involve young people in designing and implementing solutions. Their uh, perspective and active participation can contribute to more effective uh, and sustainable strategy. There is nothing without us, uh, Premier. In everything you, um, you do, we must be included, Premier. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Honorable Members. As per the program, we are reliably informed that the NYDA is not around. They tendered an apology. We therefore request, because the business of young people will never stop, we are therefore calling upon the Honorable Premier Mabuyane to respond on the debate in 10 minutes. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, honorable members, uh, order. Order, honorable members.
Thank you very much, Honorable Speaker, uh, for the opportunity once again, and good afternoon to all honorable members that are here, guests, as traditional leaders and uh, the, the bureaucrats uh, that are here. Uh, it has been a very exciting uh, day, I must indicate, and I'm just, as I'm seated there, uh, Honorable Makubela, uh, asking myself if uh, I've seen a couple of honorable members they have left. Uh, that's what is me, and uh, I'm just asking myself as well, uh, so many MECs that are not here. Uh, now I can see a serious challenge of this uh, upward delegation. So MECs are delegating premier. So now premier must go back and account to MEC on things that they should have. Uh, I, I think there is no alternative on changing the challenges we have in, mainstre in, in uh, um, mainstreaming the youth uh, developmental initiatives. Uh, Dr. Sibia, we need uh, not just a will, but a commitment and a dedication. That's only how, if you are listening to these, as much as I'm also picking up the gaps in terms of uh, information dissemination, but I think there was a call made by other members that uh, we need to be more robust on uh, information dissemination, uh, the awareness campaigns, many other young people in also far-flung uh, far or rural space might not be able to have an access to the information that some uh, people are just getting it just uh, by a press of a button. So I think the point made that uh, every municipality from local district we must make sure that there is a coordination of youth affairs for youth development purposes. Uh, that one, I'm definitely going to make sure that I'm following it up and it is going to be done. Uh, there is no other option about it. Yeah. <laughs> Niniga ne ne interpreters the to the sign language in this bottom of the thing, but I was cool. We are born away now and I pay and that's again Alfred and so as I was dead. I've been mind drunk about what you want to do. In a day, level, but generally, I wouldn't really be responding to all 48 speakers spoke here today. But uh, the issues that we have raised, but also the preparedness, you see, the preparedness. Uh, the loading into this shows the seriousness of young people that they are there and no one must begin to think that you can do things on their behalf with, without them. We can just improve now because next time uh, Honorable Speaker next time every mayor must be here. Every, every MEC must be here. Every MPL must be here. Because all of them, they've got constituencies in your offices. So there is no way that we can leave young people. As young people are saying, this can no longer be about malicious compliance. This can no longer be about just another talk show. Whatever that is being raised here, it needs a follow through. There is Advocate Lobo here, who is the Chief Director responsible for youth development. We're going to develop an action plan that is going to attend and see to it that uh, these issues that we have raised there are followed through. I know some are already happening in your areas. You know those uh, rehabilita uh, rehabilitation centers that you are talking about. I know in Jogabi, Jogabi is earmarked for one, it adding to some that are happening uh, to Tuzela centers and all that. I've heard Jogabi very well. Uh, I've been in Jogabi. Actually, I've been in every corner of this province. My intention when I started uh, in 2019, uh, I've got only one term. Don't think that I've been here for long. That's why you must make sure that I come back, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> 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 you see, as I'm looking at you, I say, hey, the, the parliament is telling it because they wrote down list. <laughs> So I'm going to pull up. The Kobe is the best thing in the parliament. 
But I'm saying uh, definitely the vibrance, the exuberance that has been demonstrated shows that we need young people right there at the table, as that has been a demand. So the issue of uh, uh, agriculture, the land restitution and redistribution and all that is an issue that is key. I know it's an area that have not been performing. I've been raising this issue with the minister as well. To say, Minister, we've given land to so number of other people since 1994. Some of those land are lying fallow. No one is using them. I don't know if we are at retirement. So we must stop joking around this issue. So there are people in rural areas who have got uh, livestock, 500 to 1,000. If you talk about steak spread, couple of hotels are almost every day. If you talk about Mbashe and all those uh, areas that are there, I've been in uh, Jogadi, not once. There's a lady there in actually Waltasi Solo that I visited in her farm. Young lady, dynamic. We are supported here. She's doing a lot there. There's another lady, a PhD candidate in Elundin, that I visited in her farm, doing work with Utadawake. I'm partly tractor. I'm naked tractor. So there's been a lot of uh, that attempt to date. We have given um, the Isip Kalo to so number of young people. But since Kalo started, uh, we have not done much. I think we've just spent uh, less than 35 million because of the budget. That's why we said in this financial year, we need 100 million per year to accommodate more. But unfortunately, due to comp uh, competing uh, needs and demands, all other things being equal, Sanyan's legacy basically is 33 million over three years. But we are looking at that uh, with a backlog of application at about 1,300 applicants. That is there. But I can tell you with Scalo, I've touched almost every corner in terms of district. I've been in Alfred Nzo, um, in uh, Mbizana. Oh, we are in Mbizana. Google screens, but digital device. Kukui's greens as as market time bizana in bizana that are showcasing other things. Other businesses are buying spaces that is done by a young person. We gave that young person almost like a hundred thousand eight hundred thousand to do that project. I went there myself to hand over that project to that uh, child. So they are they are a couple of them in almost in every corner. What do we have said about Skal? Asuzone nega mali. And ne badle le imal. In this la we enza, when I'm doing entrepreneur, so that when you land, you funa your guenza land. You funi tractor, you funi van, you funa image trains. You know, so that what's the worth that two million will buy them? So so that you do your work. So that's what we're doing. We're now uh, really cleaning that system of isikalo. Uh, uh, so that we are able to improve the process of application. Soon, there will be an award that will be given for the 2023-2024 out of 33 million that is available in this financial year to be given to young people. I agree. Let's market those. Let's get those testimonies from such young people who are already beneficiaries. And I've seen them around across uh, sectors, uh, across the social economic sectors, be it cannabis and elsewhere, we've been assisting those young, be it hospitality industry in terms of tourism and all that. We've assisted a couple of those young people. If we pick up on Hill, we've assisted by tour guides, given them facilities. Sangeta na banya bantu ana paglanda kutoa kusendu what what. Go peganga semsiga bo puma pa elusiki siku sitla. So we've been assisting a lot, but I'm just saying across district that report is available. It should be posted publicly. You see who has been. Uh, who has received Isikalo, where and how. All these other lies that are being done by other people, mobilizing other people, are just lies. But it's important that you rebut lies with facts. So we are able to assist. I know there's a lot, the mining sector, they've got a, low, a, 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 a social labor plans. We are improving our corporate social investment approach with all companies that are working here, be it as a company, Zenza, as our wind turbines, that is your renewable energies, how do we make sure that we get those young people? You are just out of this world. You are just uh, exceptional. No, I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that.
so that we understand uh, the thinking. But young people of our province and the country, you are in a far much better situation now than the situation uh, some of us we find, found ourselves in. Ukubese University, you have no money, you have textbook. Upile ngo photocopa no bole ki textbook. Because UTEFs at that time would not be able even to cover you much. So these kind of support, net demands, the email has the team, Jengba Esich, Lancelo is a PCM. I don't sell on J as in Zagelai, Matas. In Selo, you go back. The NS fast is available. Mishaw NS fast at Dubule, Ubona Ogumde Fagans, the body. A humble appeal. And now Pindan, the Ulugan, Nabandaba, Changan, does this have one and the Fagi, you know. Honorable member, Kobang on the belated ladies of Van, the Vera Yinda, but could we see as a good by Astropet? Is your only thing a man like a lay? Everyone is a van, I want to go drive with the intro, which again is in Togis and Tro. Lane, Yenya Indo, but all in all, these resolutions, Honorable Speaker, we will be able to package them in 30 days give a clear program of action, attend to almost every aspect. But what we're going to do now is to cascade this down the two district. We will be dispatching MECs to district to follow up on various aspects that we have raised. We have taken a decision that cabinet is no longer going to sit at state house the whole day. The cabinet must rotate in the province. Because what we would want to do, cabinet must interact with stakeholders a day before a cabinet meet the following day, so that it's a good theater in abstract. We deal with real issues that our young people are experiencing almost every day. So there's a lot. We're rolling out broadband on the ICT. We've got to really deal with the uh, issues of digital divide. So we are hard at work. It's a question of saying, how do we make this information available to young people so that our young people understand? We want you as leadership to champion. We must uh, run a proper positive narrative. You know, the worst uh, thing that we have in this province, we are suffering from what I call the self-hate. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Honorable Premier, two minutes left. Honorable Speaker, okay. So, I'm just saying, uh, colleagues, I do appreciate all your contributions. We're going to be working on them and make sure that we give you a proper uh, uh, responses. LRED is a grant funding with economic development. Grant. They can give you almost up to $3 million without anything. Just like Skal, Skal can give you up almost up to two million, depending on your concept. You have got a, I'm worried about NYDA. Psych must follow up on NYDA. NYDA <laughs> is made for you. If NYDA can miss a gathering of this nature, mm. the question is, it is there for who? Who is he serving? Thank you very much. Thank you, uh, Honorable Premier. Uh, honorable members, I now call upon Miss Asan Damnyani to table the resolutions on the matter for five minutes. <laughs> um, honorable Speaker, uh, please allow me, Dibuli Sengo Ketekileo, to the first citizen of our province, uh, the Honorable Premier Oscar Mawiane. Um, the Deputy Speaker of the Legislature, MECs in presence, uh, in our traditional leaders, and also greet all honorable members as Koyo Paratkwetu and also our guests. Mine is very short and it is to table resolutions. Because of time constraints, I will not be able to read all the resolutions, but they will be communicated in terms of Rule 202 and Rule 203 of the Standing Rules of the Legislature to affected organs. Um, I'm going to start, um, as we were debating, there were three uh, thematic areas that we were focused on. I'm going to start by tabling resolutions of the first thema thematic area. Um, the first topic was partnership for efficient and relevant programs 
for youth socioeconomic empowerment and development and leveraging on digital revolution. And according to our main focus was on e digital revolution. And of course, because we're in an era, the fourth industrial revolution. Um, I'm just going to highlight a few from all regions. The first one, they did state that they need access to free online courses for scarce skills so that they can be equipped to adapt Kulendo year 4 IR. And also the upskilling, Oganya Ugu train wa ko ko tishalakaz ez kolwen, bakwaz wuse benzisa e le technology e koyo. Lome apa pam kwenuke is a computer science graduate. Koda nam slanja klay zoma pam kwenu ya kwa zuga fike enga petanga technology peti pep. Plan bike kwevs gift bags in this bona ios is pure ayo up. Buko nam slam bukov kofa na be technology. Es bonele longa ho dinelo tem van di make lendao. Um uh, and under this thematic area, it is to strengthen as a public private partnerships uh, so that functionality yes youth uh, initiatives such as your co-ops because it is pointless to fund something that you are not going to monitor. Your mali will become fruitless expenditure. So with the expertise from the private sector, I think I think no And is a of establishment of a rapid response team that will look into implementation. Yes, is it the proposal to government? And also, as in decision making boards, um, in entrepreneurship programs, there must be programs as in Zwayo to upskill and train entrepreneurs. And also, Kengoku, Neza public private partnerships, Ziza Kusineti, Sa Ekubenuba. Kukwazi could transfer his skills by these private companies. As we all know that expertise of these technical, or as it does the technical kakulu, is it dominant payana ki private sector. That is why our government is still outsourcing some of those services. Kabenwake basondele, apakurumente, and take youth-owned entities, more especially those entities, Zabantu, who went to enroll in institutions of higher learning for ukuba bakale amashishini wabo. And go to the second thematic area, which is youth participation in land reform and the agricultural revolution. Across all regions, is no access to land. And the Kumbuli region, of this province, I think there's one region, we do have access to land, no, no, but we no, no. need equipment, we need funding. One but minute. most regions, the, most minute. regions, Zines Kalo say access to Umtlav. Ngokopa, this is our communicator, get to affected organs. So that I turned, I know Bam Tlambi, Kube Konuglandeleleka, so that Tabanda Bachabas of Wazukuman. Sibu is in issues of EE education and agriculture. There were requests that all institutions of higher learning within the Eastern Cape province um, must offer agricultural studies so that lama farmer mangin asakulayo akwazu kufumana the necessary skills. And reopening of factories yeah, for utilization by young people for agro processing reason, re, reasons. Uh, also, they did propose that agricultural management studies. A must be introduced at secondary school level. Um to angayoti banana yo sele ese college in some big talent they are here. Aquas by I seven this a while still in school. Abe equals bang so much she knew was mail. The last thematic area is on social problems facing the youth and innovations innovation innovative solutions. Repub member. Repub Young people. Repub. I'm saying wrap up. You've got only one minute. Oh, okay. I'm just going to wrap up. Um, Young people need more platforms where they are going to address issues of mental illness. Uh, mental illness, depression, and, and other issues related to them. There is a major cause of um, these social issues. 
And a on a key contributor is unemployment or a lack of income. And also, in Zelo, Mshambile, Ebete Tangayo, my colleague uh, from BCM, it is our coping mechanism, Premier, because <laughs> consequences due to lack of unemployment and income. It's, it's a coping mechanism. We're a sad generation. So, <laughs> uh, thanks, Honorable Member. <laughs> Thank you. Honorable Members, uh, may you all. Remain silent, honorable members. Order, honorable members. Thank you. Honorable members, I now put the debate and the resolutions on the matter. Chief Whip, I now put the, res the debate and the resolutions on, on the matter. Agreed. Agreed. Right. Thank you, thank, thank you so much, uh, members. Therefore, honorable members, that uh, concludes the discussion on this matter and the business of the day. Before then, we can allow the secretary, I must take this very important opportunity to firstly extend words of appreciation from the Executive Council of the Legislature, led by the Speaker. We've seen the Honorable, the Honorable Deputy Speaker, Mlibo um, Koboshiane, the Premier of the province, for having spent the whole day with us here, and also all the members of the Legislature that have been part of us throughout this very important session. We also want to extend our words of gratitude to the political champions from the legislature, particular Honorable uh, Makubela, who has been steering this political work throughout. We are also extending our words of gratitude to the South African Youth Council, all the districts, our guest speaker, who has well articulated this theme and guided us throughout these debates. The guests from the Garal, from various organizations, we've seen institutions of higher learning and other organizations, we are all appreciated. Most importantly, the project team, as led by Advocate Berger, who was heading this work together with the steering committee members from SAIC, you are all appreciated. Uh, for the work, the stirring work that you have done to ensure the success of this work. We want to believe that Secretary of our Legislature, Mamukagad, indeed, Unetim Esebenza Ngoguzikandla, to ensure that the work is being done in our parliament. We also acknowledge, we also acknowledge the work that has been done for us to be schooled to understand the proceedings of the parliament and everything else, now we're more confident that at least we do understand the proceedings of this important house of ours as citizens of this province. So, Siabulela Kakuluke, Gusinia Manenja, Hermanas, as well. Honorable members, the resolutions have been tabled, clearly so. And we've had the Premier, we've had the speakers, it is up to us as young people from our different districts, officials from the district as well, acknowledged the work that they have been done. Now it is a time that we must work together as young people and ensure that we do what is expected. And all these resolutions must be implemented accordingly. The House remains to play that oversight role. We will continue to engage on the follow-up on the resolutions that have been taken so that to ensure that was just not an event but a program that seeks to set the tone for the next administration of our province. Now I call upon the Secretary to the Legislature to make a few announcements on where to from here 
over to your secretary. Ingosi Mazvume Stakas Tambi. At the end of the house, guests are requested to remain silent and standing until the procession of the speaker has left the chamber and until protocol security staff indicate that the doors are open. To the announcement, honorable members and guests, lunch has been prepared. Usindwe Gobetol. Umvolufu. <laughs> and therefore, the following categories of guests will be accommodated as follows. All L MPLs, Premier, MEC, and our honours guests will be accommodated at Mama Nokanime Thomas, and they will go to the dining hall. And all the delegates from the Amatole and BCM will go to the Magdalene Khesha and all other various districts and metros. Their lunch has been prepared and they will be served in their various uh, transports. Umusi tusongiwe indlele vulegile ke phabe ndiya kuthanda ukutyatyadula nicibela nicibika kodwa ngenxa yexa esela xaka amagxaka asenxaguni banibeke isinxi ngenqolo ngeqolo The house is adjourned